Monday morning, everybody, and Collider Live is coming in hot. What's going on? One and all, I hope everyone's nice and fat from Thanksgiving. Hello, Roxy Stryer. How are you doing? You calling me fat? Not yet. How are you doing? <laughs> you know. How was the trip? Been better, been worse. Been better, trip, been worse? The trip was okay. Been better, been worse. I been like that. Been better, been worse. Been like that. How are you doing, Christian? I'm doing all right. Everything's so good. So far, so far, so good. What do you got going on, Brett Sheridan? Got a stomach bug. Oh, yeah? Uh, the day after Chris, or, uh, uh, Thanksgiving and spent the whole day with all these friends in town, spent it all day in bed. So oh, that was fun. fun. Yeah, and you recovered pretty quick. Though? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was just a quick one. I didn't, it, it, it was a, like, you know, 24-hour deal, but pretty disappointing. But, no. uh, didn't get to eat a lot of leftovers and didn't really want to touch anything right. that I had eaten uh, prior to that. Well, I ate enough for you, so yeah. that's fine. Mark Riley, so how are you? I, I'm good, thank yeah. you. How was your yeah. Thanksgiving? <laughs> it was good. It was yeah. nice and quiet. And yeah. then, uh, how's your Bluetooth? Did a little. <laughs> hey, we can get you, into it. What does I'll that mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh. What a weird question to ask somebody. Yeah, my How's really? your Bluetooth? Yeah. So my Bluetooth, uh, I have a Bluetooth speaker at home that uh, the lady and yeah. I put some music. And we play, and uh, I'm cooking. There it is. And so when the Bluetooth speaker is hooked up to my phone, I get texts, and I get alerts, and they sound in the Bluetooth speaker. And so when I get, let's say, a text from Christian. It reads it out loud? It plays it out loud. And that's what plays. <sighs> He'll send me a fart. <laughs> and and then it plays throughout I'll, the house. It's like Beethoven. And then... It, and we're playing, we're, we're yeah. jazz, we like jazz, and we, we're relaxing at home, we're cooking, and my fiance is <laughs> doing some work, and then I get the text, <laughs> she likes and it. I hit it, and I just <laughs> see what her reaction is, and this is my fiance nowadays. Christian farting, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Last night, I got a text, and we were talking about live, it's and going. then I got the text, and, uh, and Julie looks at me and goes... Christian sent you a fart, didn't he? And I go, yeah, he did. I didn't even have to play it with her. Right, you just knew. She just, she just knew. Let yeah. me ask you, when you guys were sure. kids yeah. and you used to do this, this is what stuff. Happened. Well, I didn't yeah. have this well, back then. If I did, yeah, it would be great. You definitely used to make fart noises and sure. stuff. Did you think, you know, I'm gonna make I'm gonna be married, engaged, with kids. No. And I'm gonna be sending fart noises to my buddies. My my favorite thing that I ever got was an argument to someone who used to work here who was just like because we were talking about it, because you don't do it during the show. It's like you know, it's after work, and and it's, and it's, and this person whatever. said to me, they were like, "I don't think it's appropriate that you send farts," and I'm like, "I don't care because it's after hours, <laughs> and I can do whatever the fuck I want." Yeah, um, but, <laughs> and, and, and the one not the one dick person, pics, that's it's what I'm saying. The one like, person up. that can complain is me, right. and I and don't. You don't. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. Right. I just I love watching my fiance's reaction. It is gold. It's good. It's it good. Is I, I mean, just gold. To, I laugh every time he tells me. That's really why it's like, it's just an ongoing bit. At this You're point. doing yeah. it for Julie. Yes. yes. Speaking <laughs> of ongoing, she's so proud. Speaking of ongoing bits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Boom. Good, good job. <laughs> Um, you missed timing. out on a firefight on Wednesday. I can't believe I, I listen to every show. I forgot that when I'm not here, you guys still, still move on. Yeah. 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 Well, we did a show on Wednesday, and and here's the thing: because I listened to Afterthoughts over the weekend, it took me like if I don't get, if if Snelling doesn't send me the show in the morning on Fridays, it takes me like four days to listen to it. So I yeah. had to. Um, so I finally fi finished it. But they were talking about it, and he and Snelling once again, which I love. I, I told, I sent him a text yesterday. I said, "You are officially the Skip Bayless of the show. Like you are, like you are great for the show. You get your points out really well, but you say things sometimes that I, you know, you polarize, and I want to sh choke him to death." Yeah. Um. Because as we're Jay on the other side, I think Jay described the emotions that I was going through. 100% during this thing. So Makuga, who, who said at one point, he's like, you don't take criticism well. I don't take stupid criticism well. That's true. <laughs> I don't take, you know, when someone says, like, particular things, there's ways to express yourself. And where Snelling was just like, I don't think Christian can laugh at himself. I've been doing that for a long time during comedy, for sure. Um, but the, the particular thing that, uh, that, that Makuga said, he was going after the Instagram feed, my Instagram feed. And do I admit that my Instagram feed is not the best? Yeah, absolutely it's not that good. And I don't give a shit because it's my Instagram feed. I can do whatever I want with it. The thing that I took umbrance with was the fact that he said, he goes, and I want to I know your opinion on this. Yeah. If you're at a red carpet, you're a celebrity, okay? You're a celebrity. You're Roxy Stryer. You're a celebrity. First question I'm, is- I'm Roxy Stryer Roxy Stryer, Stryer the celebrity. celebrity. You're Roxy the celebrity. Stryer the celebrity, okay? You're, you're, you're a big movie star. Yeah. You're at, you're at a lunch in at a diner. Okay. Oh no, no. You're at a plane. You're on a plane. Oh. Okay. You're on a plane, and you got your head on, uh, like, in your knees. And I snap a picture of you, 
and I tweet that out. Is that that's creepy, right? Yeah. Okay. Now it's not nice. That's not nice. Now if uh, you're walking out on the carpet and and you're taking pictures in front of everybody, and then as you're walking through, other people are taking pictures, and I'm there and I take I snap a picture of you on the red carpet. Creepy? No. No. I'm okay. on the red carpet because pictures are going to be taken of me. My hair's done. My makeup's done. I'm in an outfit. Right. Okay. So. That was where my argument came into. It wasn't the fact that I, I do I have a shitty Instagram feed? Yeah, hundred percent. If you post something with a, a crappy face, like if I'm like in between facial expressions, I look like crap. Then it's a little creepy. If you probably it's post rude, that. Rude, rude. rude, or or how about or how about <laughs> rude or whatever, like maybe you shouldn't have posted that right. one. Or or but or if I look okay, inconsiderate. I would right, say inconsiderate. But you know, creepy is is. Again, someone on a plane, knee, you know, your face like in in, in your knees, not expecting a picture. Do, Cody, do you happen to have anything like that? Yeah, it's uh, it's up right now. Oh, it's up right now. So oh. like like this picture, this picture that Josh McCuga posted of some girl sitting on a plane because he wanted to tell a joke about her. The battle lines are being drawn. I think that's yeah. creepy. Where it's, is it? You, oh, you never we gotta know. Get it. It's not in here, especially Cody. because it's he not up. Has, no, it is. It's up. he told me it's up. Oh, okay. oh it's up. Especially Got it. because it's up. he has a following. I don't trust you. Like that goes out to people. That's what I'm saying. And she could see that. Maybe so, she's his number no, one fan. Let's, let's bring it up now so the boys can see. It's not Instagram, it's Twitter. It's Twitter. Um That's a little better. <laughs> that it's on Twitter? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a um, better. But I'm I'm just saying yeah, Twitter, Twitter is there for and, for and, and Google will be yeah. on the show if he's not on later on today. He'll be on tomorrow, so he'll be able to defend himself. Yeah, are we talking about this now so that he can't fight back? Oh no, no, no. I want him to fight back and I want I, I want him to be able to have the conversation, but like that's you gotta keep going. There it is, right there. There it is. Yeah. She's she's it's a funny joke. The nails, the hoodie. I think she's in a band, and I want to see them live on stage. But she's she's just trying to sleep. Maybe she had a hungover. She just wanted to take her sweatshirt. Says, "Why aren't you dead yet?" Right. Yeah. <laughs> and and now we're talking about it on the show. But okay. In all fairness yeah. to Josh, you can't see her face in this. Doesn't matter. No, we no. Took... I'm just saying that's better. It's not like he took a picture better, of somebody but... on a plane where it's that you can see who it that's legitimately true. is. There's been no reveal. But yeah. yeah. Her friends. Right. Though no, that know, know about this jacket, yeah. I'm just saying she that knows. I think I think that if you if you compare a picture of say you know uh, Common at an awards show mm -hmm. as opposed to some poor girl with her blue nails with her head in between her legs because she's sick from the night. No, before. What about at a concert or an award show? He has a, does he have a problem that, with that? I was at that's where it came from. I was at an award show and Common was walking by where you are. I was like, oh, it's Common. I'm not even saying at a at a carpet. I'm saying. At if somebody's performing live during a concert, you're not a photographer. You I don't take know. a picture. We'll have to ask him when he gets in here. But like, it's it, it, this says this this is going to continue. I just don't to like those kind of because, pictures anyway. And I have to give credit to Jack Hind who who brought this to, to my attention over the weekend. He's like, dude, you're giving Christian shit to this, <laughs> and you're taking pictures of, of this poor girl. And of course, Makuga didn't you know didn't admit he's wrong, but he he doesn't do that. We'll talk about it but again. I'm going to give him a shot when he gets in here. And we'll talk about it um, because I have to take him to Creed this week. I got to take him to go see Creed. That that I promised oh, yeah. him, and I'm going to do Can that. I come? If you, do you want to? Yeah. Are you just saying that because you want to go? I always you... want to come. No, the, right, be, the best thing about Roxy is she wants to go with you. It doesn't Anywhere, matter where you everywhere. go. You guys were planning this like family thing, and right. Roxy's like, what, yeah. what, are you doing? "What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you talking right. about?" What yeah. it was? Well, she knew what it was. She was like, oh, "I'm cool." My daughter has an assembly tomorrow. She's like, "Can I come?" Yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, it's you." Oh, you already promised me on the drive to the airport that I could come to that. Speaking of which. For is that those, we're still on? Yeah. But okay. wait a minute. Dude, you can't, <laughs> don't, bury, don't bury the lead here. Yeah. This so is a beautiful this story. This is a beautiful story. It is really beautiful. So, yeah. I posted it in the Facebook group. This is what yeah. I love about this show, and that's what we talked about in this show for a long time, is that we're, like I just said, with McCoog and I as one of my best friends, that we're in some shit right now, right? There's some, there is some stuff that happens on this show that will happen. People will figure stuff out. Roxy and Brett, for a little bit, the question is, did they get each other? Do they know each other? Do they understand each other? Will they ever see eye to eye? Brett Sheridan who I know very well, did a very kind thing, as I know him to do. He offered to take you to the airport after uh, the Tuesday show. And did you take him up on that offer? I tried not to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not, not because I didn't want the ride, but because, right. remember, on Tuesday's show, he was off an hour earlier right, than I was. Guest. Because right. we had the guest. And he was trying to go pick up his kids from a sleepover. Uh, something and it's babysitter. Yeah. I felt really bad and I said no no it's fine I'm just gonna Uber I did check the Uber and it was like $75 and I was not wow. looking forward to it wow. surging oh, because, that day because, because of because, yeah, right? was, everybody's tribal yeah. it was insane uh, and I was just like oh bummer but you know that's what you have to do and unbeknownst to me oh. when we popped out at break Brett was still sitting there. Yeah. And I said, Brett, what are you doing here? He said, I live right there. I'm not going to not drive you to the airport, which I was 
shocked by, kind of thought person. he was kidding, yep. was waiting for something in the car. But, <laughs> but no. A little worried that we're heading to the desert. Right, yeah. right. Well, it did take Do us. Do you a, get me now? It, it took us an hour and a half. It took us an hour and a half yeah, from was, here to get ride. to the terminal. Was, wow, but you guys learned a lot you about thought it. You it was other. a rough ride? I mean, like, as far as my trip home, it was longer than, nor you know, the tra- the holiday traffic was started already. Yeah. 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 I would I would not say we learned a lot about each other. No. I would say I learned a lot about Brett. Oh, okay. Uh, I went into- So it was a one-on-one with Brett Sheridan Definitely. with Roxy as the host. Definitely. Well, be- I don't know if this happens to you or you. Brett, you're newer at the hosting thing. Yeah. D- do you guys interview people for the first time when you're spending an extended period of time with them for the first time? It depends. Because mm. I went into like, so tell me about this. Yeah. And tell me about your life. And tell me about your parents. And tell yeah. me about growing up. And tell me about you your kids. You learned a lot about, tell me about your... Do you get him now? Uh, well, I think I know him better. Yeah. I don't think he knows a single thing about me still. Right, right. But that's okay. <laughs> he gave me the ride. So I'll he s- did his part. Well, I'll send him because I'm, I'm going to have you on 101. And you'll be on next week. Yeah. And so you'll be able to listen to that and learn oh, more okay. about it. So. Yeah. No, but it was really, really kind. I honestly couldn't believe it. Driving anybody to the airport, like your siblings, right. your your kids, your wife, whatever, sucks. It sucks. The yeah. response usually now is take an Uber, but it's right. $75. Yeah, and, uh, yeah it was that's really expensive. Last night, I go to go home, both Uber and Lyft, not available. What? Oh, wow. I literally didn't know what to do. I felt like such a millennial. Yeah. I was like, how do I get home? Right. What do I What did you do? Taxi? Yeah. Ugh. I wa- I could. How First of all, I didn't cost? know how to find a taxi. Right. Because... Um, where the taxi? Where is it now? even going? It's like anymore. a payphone. I had already gone up to the other floor where the ride share is. Right. So I'm like, well, how do I get a taxi? So I went up. What about the shuttle? I I, I looked into all options. Really? But I, the shuttle, I would have to take an Uber from the shuttle, and then I was like, No, well, I mean the shuttle bus that they do. You know, yeah, the, sh- the shuttle bus. Go, oh, okay. it, it stops at one location. Uh, oh. And I was really? like, What if the Uber does? Now I'm going to be standing on the side of the road. Oh. So. I, and then I, I didn't know what to do, so I asked somebody, and they were like, it's at the taxi line. And I was like, I fucking get that, right. one. Where is that? And so finally I found it. It was an hour and a half wait for oh a taxi. My God. Because God. other people must have been having the same Uber or Lyft issue. Yeah. I waited for an hour and a half. It was brutal. I thought three times about calling Brett. Yeah. <laughs> Did you really? Three times. I was like, he lives right here. But it's 10 p.m., He's got kids. Right. He already did me the favor. It's really bitchy. And so I didn't. Uh, what, what day was that? Was yesterday? Last night, right? Last night. Oh, that was, I was last night. I was asleep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, had a, I mean, I had eight people staying in my three bedroom apartment. I, I don't was even have your phone rapping. number. <laughs> Eighth. 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 Do we have that? That was quick. That's what he said. Wait, what is that, Cody? Eighth. <laughs> you know, there's a sequel to that movie. It's a sequel. Cody, do you Eighth. have the sequel ready? Nine. <laughs> is that Ninth. A, what is it? Nine. Wait, wait. Tell me again. Sorry, Cobster. What's play? Try this again. Wait, try me again, please. Nine. Uh, what is it? Nine. <laughs> no, no. How many? Nine. Wait, where? Ninth. No, no. How many of them? Ninth. What's, wait, what? What's no in German? Ninth. Nine. Nine. We say what? Ninth. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ninth. <laughs> Can't I'm glad we got a sequel. Eighth we, is we, better. We need him to... We, I like them both. I liked eighth. At ninth wasn't as good as yeah. eight. My favorite you like is eight. Eight. Because seven, eight, yeah. nine. Eight. 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 Did we eight. See, we see Lena Headey made, made the... Uh, oh, wow. Made the, made the wall. Lena so, Headey. I thought it was Headley. <laughs> and it wasn't until the IMDb <laughs> the came in right. that I went, now you know. Ah, now you yes. Know. Now you know. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Well, that is a that also a Schmodown reference. And mm. speaking of which, there's there's two things that I uh, need to bring up. The first is I mentioned it on the show, I think, on Wednesday. Or was it, were, you on the, were you on the show? No, it was Wednesday when we announced that the... No, it was Tuesday. You were here for that. I don't know what you're going to say. The New York date. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, just get to it. The the New York date. Yeah, it was Tuesday. So um, the New York date was announced for the Schmodown Live. We sold out in three days. Yeah. It took LA two months. Can I come? If you'd like, yeah. Three days it took. We are officially sold out of that is New York. So dope. It's yeah. really amazing. I'm uh, I'm humbled by it. I'm also I cannot wait to go home. It it absolutely means that we'll do another one eventually. When is it? It is January 26th. Um, Does that mean you like New York better than LA? No, not necessarily. Well, right. I mean, yes, yes. In regards to that's where I grew up. I mean, as far as crowds go, mm-hmm. no, because the crowds were awesome in uh, in LA. It just took a while to get. Is to it a bigger the, the, venue there or smaller? Same, about same, the same size? About the same. Wow. Uh, because what it was is that we originally had a venue booked out to that was 600 seats and then could stretch out to 1,000. 
I thought we could have done it, but we had conversations, and I was like, well, let's try to go for the smaller one just in case cause it's the first show. Who so had conversations? Produce. Just the production company and myself that were, that were full screen that we're working with and who have been incredible on, on this uh, so far. Just playing it, I think, safe, which was, I understand, and three days into it, sold out, and then we're uh, we're really excited about it. We announced the, the undercard, which is... If you look at that, the Phenom, Chance Ellison, the Cobra, is going up against another potential Rookie of the Year and Janine the Machine. You, the performances are going to, you know, the uh, entrances are going to be amazing. Um, and then the title match, whoever the champion is at the time, will be defending the title against the number one contender. Both the number one contender will be decided at the Spectacular. And if it's either Roca or whoever Roca plays, um, they will be at the uh, at the New York event. So it's going to be very exciting. I cannot wait. There's a lot of things that I want to announce still that I can't, um, and I'm looking forward to it. So thank you to everybody who got the tickets, and yeah, we'll be doing another one for sure. Um, and then the other thing regarding the Schmodown is if you listen to Riley Roundtable in general, it's a great show. I like it. Thank I you. I like it a lot. Mm. Um, he does an amazing job. He really does. Ben Bateman was on the show, uh, your team partner who you Damn. won the finals with. Yeah. This is a must listen for Schmodown fans in general. But this is a must listen for anybody who wants to compete in the Schmodown or competes through Schmodown. And I'm talking about from people who are just coming into the league to the the pros like Roca and everybody else too. It really goes into strategy, yeah. um, how the game is played, the mental kind of toughness that it takes now in this league in general. And it was so fascinating for me to listen to the two of you guys kind of go into it, how the chemistry worked. Listen to Riley Roundtable with Ben Bateman. Again, if you are a fan, if you are someone who wants to compete in the league, check it out. It is it is well worth it. It was right? the Get second time it. that you had him on, so it's the yeah. most recent episode. That the most recent, out. yeah. We did the, like, right before the tournament, talk about mm -hmm. what do we want to do. We want to win, of course. You know, what yes. are we going to do? How are we going to do this? And then this one, recap. You know, all in, strategy. Like, the things that we did, like, we were changing up strategy yep. and then would change back so a lot of kind of stuff a lot of uh that kind of talk it yeah. was fun cool yeah, yeah. it's really so check that out uh, a couple things i want to talk to you guys about things that i saw over the weekend some just in general is some shoot the shit stuff the yeah. first thing that i saw that i don't know if it's been addressed or see if you guys had saw this i saw this tweet and i guess um jt's lady april had, had tweeted it out regarding um deadpool did you see this no oh Holy shit! Yes. Right. To bring, the, bring yes. this up, guys. It's, it's, you know a, what? I it's, meant to put that in the. Well, don't worry about it. I covered it. So, yeah. uh, the, what the, is it? I'm going to tell you right now. So, yeah, the first one. I think you guys missed it. Oh, that's it. You're right. I'm sorry. Go go back to uh, tweets and replies, and I'll and I'll read it out there because it was something that I saw that hasn't even been addressed. You got to keep scrolling down. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that dog's amazing. They have the best Dalton. dog. You keep so it's, great. It's like I retweeted it, but you're going to go through a bunch of shit. Uh, it's just a, for, see if you can find the Deadpool one, and then just let me know. When you saw it, you when you command see it. F Deadpool. Oh, there you go. Is that it? That's it. Okay. So this was a tweet that someone tweeted at uh, Ryan Reynolds in December of 2017. And the tweet reads, if Marvel forces you to make a PG-13 Deadpool, just copy the framing device from The Princess Bride and have Deadpool censoring it for Fred Savage as a bedtime story. A kidnapped adult Fred Savage. There. I fixed it. That was a year ago. A year ago. That that came out. Who is that person? Just some random fan. Now, uh, look, here's the thing. It is an unsolicited tweet Yeah. that if they want to do that, yeah. they can. Yeah. Now, is that right morally or ethically? Yeah. You mean right yeah. without paying that person? Or yeah. what do you mean? Yeah. That they I mean, should do. Look, the thing is, because here's what they can say. If you, It's the same thing when I was working at a studio. And if, and if you called up the studio and you said, look, I have an idea for Joel Silver that I want you to do this, 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 and this. <laughs> The person on the other end of the phone could say, you can't do that. You can't say that because we're already working on what you just said. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Now, they may not have may, or they may have or may not have, but you just gave up that thing unsolicited. And so they could come back and go, look, as much of a coincidence as it is, we're already working on this. There's no proof on it. Um, it just looks like this guy had suggested it already. And there you go. Now, should they when give When did him they start filming? I don't know. It was only like a couple days of shooting, I think. Yeah, right? it, was, it was. It was. Yeah, they did the framing device with Fred Savage for right. like a week. I heard, but it was right. tw twenty eighteen. They, yeah, they filmed sure. it this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were in, but at this time they're in post yeah. on Deadpool two, right? Yeah, the only thing though is that you you know you know it's it's out there, yeah. so you can always call back to it like this like 
it happened. So I don't know. It's what just, did April say? Was she just said, he literally said, this is, what, what did she say? She said, this is insane. He posted this 2017. She says Ma Fox and Marvel should write this guy a check. I, do you agree I, with that? I, no, not necessarily. No. I do you think they should have called him, contacted him? What I mean, do you, you think? You could give him a shout out. If, 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 but again, I don't have the proof that they weren't working on it already. I just it's just coincidental. Now, do I possibly think that you know maybe they had, it sparked an idea? Yeah, just it just you, you put that you, for you that. put that out there. It's unsolicited. Yeah, it's uns that's the problem. Is that it's. I don't you know it's it just the, seems a little coincidental. But could no, the he, chances be that? Slim that he that you know Ryan Reynolds is scrolling and he went well oh, shit this guy nailed it this yeah. is what we're doing we have this in development we have this plan or is it like hmm or okay or option three which happens in comedy clubs a lot too is that if there's someone you hear stuff enough and yeah. you see things and you, all the tweets that Ryan Reynolds you think sees, it's your own idea. It it it's it's in his head. He goes, oh, what if? And not even realizing that he had read it, right? And and then he he goes, oh, that'd be a funny idea. But did I? Did someone say that to me? Or because I've had I've had things again bringing a Schmodown reference into it. I I think I've had people say to me, I'm pretty sure that that question has been asked before, and it hasn't. It just was in a study session or something along the lines. But or even when you're in the middle of having a conversation, I've had conversations with Riley to where I was. You know, asking questions, and then I thought, oh wait, we've asked this in a match before, but we haven't. So it's it's one of those types of situations. Your brain just kind of goes in a different direction. So maybe, or I don't know. could this guy have talked to somebody because maybe he knows somebody at Marvel Fox? They were already working on it, and then he tweeted that after hearing them say something. Maybe that could happen too. Absolutely. So that's my that's the reason why no, they shouldn't cut him a check because no. there's no proof. There's no proof, Brett. Well, no, it's just you're, when you tweet something, you're just giving you're it giving to it the away. world. That's yeah. it. You're not. That's not like something that he'd written down and put in an envelope and copyright. You know, I mean, you're just you're throwing out. That's why sometimes I look at people that put these really great jokes out there that are stand ups and stuff that may not. You know, like you're yeah. just giving your joke to the world there. You right. Know? You start uh, sending in tweets to the Writers Guild yeah. to register register your, your stuff. Tweet. That's oh what. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. I mean, that's we're going to get there sooner yeah. or later, yeah, right? Probably. You know, it's like you tweet something out, it has a little TM yeah. or, or the register sign from uh, yeah. WGA that I always put on my the scripts. Number, yeah. The number, It's like this yeah. tweet, register, it's Writer's Guild with 5778221. Well, right. I mean, look, I get stuff like that all the time. Like, in the, in, so what, what do you do? We announced something recently that's happening. Like, like a Matt, oh, I said Lon Harris, I said next season, the Harris brothers will be playing um, critically acclaimed in a number one contender match. And then some guy wrote back. He's like, "You're welcome." I was like, "Huh?" He's like, mm. "I suggested this before," <laughs> and I was like, "You probably did, but that was always going to happen." Um, and that, but that's what I'm, that's the same type of thing. It's like you don't know. Maybe they were working. That bothers little... me so much. No, 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 no. I mean, he, he... I'm not saying it bothers you. Yeah. you can't. No, 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 no. That it bothers me. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it bothers I, me I, so I, much. That and when somebody tells you yeah. that they're so proud. And they did nothing to get you there. Like, proud is not that word. You can't be like, oh, I'm so proud of you. If you were not part of the effing journey. Proud? Really? Proud? But yeah. what, if, what if people who tweeting? Is this? Just what? in general, people tweeting general. at you, Christian, like, I'm so proud of what you've done with Schmodown. <laughs> proud? Impressed? Look, I think my mother deserves to tweet that out. <laughs> Your mom can be oh, proud. Okay. She's right. part of the journey. Right, right, right. right. Your but mom uh, gets to be proud. I, yeah, I mean, I get it. I think this I'm is. I'm so it. proud of you. But what if what are the people who were, were with you from the beginning? They're allowed saw, to be proud. Okay, so people who are but uh, so but a fan, come in. but of a fan that's been watching you since before you still, you're from your first show at AfterBuzz. If they're part today. of your journey and they've been there, like right. and I know, you know because I know. The oh, you first, know everybody. <laughs> the first you know your first fans. Do you not? I mean, I know, I know a lot of them. I I definitely know but mine. I, I, They've been with me from day one. Okay. They get to be proud of what we've built together. But you're saying someone who just started following you last in. week. I'm so proud of everything you've done. Right. Or somebody you meet, somebody who get, hires you for something. I'm so proud, like yeah. new, a new person. Ugh. No, you don't like it. What if they would have? What if they would have went back in time to 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 go back and watch the journey? No, and then understand that. No, proud, no. impressed. I'm so impressed by you. Okay, proud. Important. You don't no. like that. Proud takes do ownership. Not, do yeah. not tweet. You guys don't Roxy. feel that way. No. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> oh. I think it's fine. I don't, I don't think it's a dong take. You know what? I was just rewatching. What? 
um, the eating people and how genuinely. But you didn't I watch got, Wednesday's show. No. You rewatched that? No, because I, I I'm putting it at the, at the end of my reel. Oh, as a, are you really? Yeah. Uh, it's just <laughs> it's just because I'm weird. Yeah. And I was just so genuinely, I genuinely thought you guys were gonna be on my page, and with this one too, like I genuinely thought you guys were gonna look at me and be like, yeah, totally. Let me tell you, this argument's probably you're gonna get more people on your side than the first. Okay. One. Yeah. <laughs> Eating yeah. people, yeah. Tweeting, tweeting that you're proud. That you're proud. Yeah. Kind of on the same Registered level there. at Letters Guild. Yeah. yeah. Proud tweet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my wife still doesn't understand that I do this show. What's she saying? She's just calling. She's me. calling you. I have reminders for you, you today. Pick up. Pick gotta, up. You need to get sweatshirts. Can, can pick you answer? Up. Well, she's not calling me. She's you texting me. You just said me. that. She's texting me. Well, no. I may, I texted her right before this to ask her a question, then, and now she's replying to me, too. And I'm like, why did I do that right before the show? Because she doesn't understand. <laughs> what do you need sweatshirts for? Gifts for, for family and stuff. Sweatshirts? Yeah. Yeah. I guess a certain kind. He gives yeah. everybody Schmodown sweatshirts. It's <laughs> actually true. <laughs> right. For yeah, family, you know, oh, cool. uh, mugs. And, <laughs> you know, people like this. You fucking ungrateful prick. You and those. There's go, one. Suck because you can't. Yeah, you can't get out. in the league. You lose the fans. You lost. <laughs> you lost. You lost. You, so they put you in a family. Well, I'm thinking of like an uncle you, or something. You, yeah, yeah. you want to you go down? You don't know, change the subject. You wanna, it was an embarrassment, and I sat there over your shoulder, and you lost. You couldn't do it. Bring up that match. What is it? What match? Who stars in Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Exactly. What does Ferris Bueller have? Hemorrhoids. I. Yeah. He's. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Let's. The other thing, though, I tell you, this is a conversation I wanted to have with you because another thing over Uh-oh. the weekend I spent with the family. We're walking up there. We went to the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica. So beautiful. Oof. It was. It over the weekend? It wasn't that crowded. Oh, really? It wasn't it was that bad. It, it, yeah, it wasn't that bad. So the first thing, we, walk, we were like, let's go to Barnes & Noble. We're going to walk around to Barnes & Noble, shut the whole thing down. It's not even there anymore. So we were, oh, God, we, yeah, everything shutting right. down. Um, mm-hmm. You just get Thanks books on. Amazon. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I, I yeah. think the Grove I'm just is the only listening one. to that. Yeah, there's a big, there's a big, if you like the daily, there's a great daily podcast on like what Amazon did to these companies that just far reaching yeah. jobs everywhere gone we brought and my wife brought that up she's like amazon. amazon yeah that's the, so that's does the everybody thing. That's, yeah. The, yeah. that's the thing they, they they have everything so it shut down we're like well let's just walk we'll just walk on the promenade and we did my wife went to, with the baby to do some uh, some shopping and my daughter and i start walking down the uh down in the promenade we had a slice of pizza we're she's dancing with the, she has uh hits with the the, the the break dancers and the b-boys and it was really cool they used her as a, as one of the um, volunteers nice. to jump over or something yeah it was awesome so but then we start walking farther down and we go in and i said well the disney store is there let's go to the disney store and we went and so my daughter she picks up this lightsaber and she's swinging and she's swinging the lightsaber and i look over her shoulder and on the thing it says boys toys and my daughter sees it she goes what these are kids toys i yeah. you're damn right they're kids toys and, and i'm not I'm not that. I'm not that guy. I really am not. I'm not. I'm not big political on on social media. That I'm is not, not political. I'm, in general, this types of stuff, yes. I just don't. I normally just don't do it. I and I don't take it away from anybody who does. I, I just, saw your tweet about this. It's just not me normally, but it really shook me to my core for a lot of different reasons. And and there was something that most people were on my side here, and there were a couple ball bags that were just like you I know, saw a couple ball bags. They were just. They don't understand what I was trying to say here, and it wasn't a matter of it. it I do think they understand. Not all the way. Not all the way. Because, uh, I think but, they get it. Maybe they're not parents then. because No, the, they're the, probably not. Because the thing is, it said boys I'm toys. Yeah. yeah. What, and then there was another section that said girls toys. And let's say that there is some kid and doesn't understand yet that he's gay. Right? And he's struggling in general because he doesn't understand yet. He's, he's seven, eight, doesn't get it yet. But he sees a label that says girls toys. That tells him that's wrong. Mm. Then the same thing with my, so my daughter swinging and then because people are like, oh the kids should know that was some of the arguments the kids should know and you just let them play they, they how play. are they supposed to know their kids Be- exactly this is them learning you gotta go inside the, the mentality of a kid and the, the most disturbing part was I said to the manager I said to her I was like you know I'm not normally this guy but like what what is that and she's just like that's the way they want it she got defensive she's like mm. that's that's the way Disney wants it in Santa Monica this store and I was like that's the way they want it that's what they have to do that's that's which that's is the way so they want it. against everything Disney is yeah. supposed to stand for yeah and I said to her I said that's the problem and I was calm I said that's the problem and I said well fine then I'll just tweet this picture out and see if people agree with me or if I'm, I'm on the other side no I saw it. it it's really upsetting it's not surprising in any way shape or form I I mean as a as a girl, I grew up with that and right. uh, with a brother. And we would go to the store and I would like the same things that he would like, like the G.I. Joe's or whatever and, and boy's toy. 
Yeah. yeah. I had to go to the girls' section because it said boys, and I didn't understand. I can physically buy a boy's toy. But when you're young, you see a rule. Right. If you're somebody who that's follows the rules yes. and you see boy's toy and you say, oh, that's not for me. I cannot ask yes, for that because it's a boy's toy. It doesn't even have anything to do with sexual preference, gay, straight, whatever. Everybody likes different things. That's exactly Football, that's, that's boys yes. toy. Right. That's that's my point. Is because you're shaping you're shaping with oh, I'm not supposed to look at that then. But my you daughter's would never... swinging and the car and cars were there and there were other things too. Uh, I think Incredibles or whatever it was. And it's like, no, she loves this stuff. Like, what kind, she loves what it. toy should have a gender attached to it? Right. It doesn't make any sense. It just should not not today, especially when Star Wars Jock's is trap. led that's why I'm saying, by Ray. M- that's by... what Disney is supposed to be. Yeah, it's with, weird. And, and, it, and it makes no sense. But what I will say, Christian, is that you never and maybe I'm wrong, correct me if I am, mm-hmm. you never would have thought about it had you not been there with your daughter. Had you not had a daughter. Had you not had two daughters. You're, you're, you never would have thought you're, about it. You would have walked by and been like, boys, boys. Um it I just kinda like rolls off. I don't know if that's necessarily true today. Um because the, of who you are today, because of your journey. Because, which I'm so proud of. Thank you. I'm glad that you're proud of me. Um I think so because brave. I think that be so brave. Because I know enough people with kids, I think you know, in general, if I didn't have a, for example, for Brett, if because I, Brett if I didn't have my, if I didn't have kids, if I wasn't married, and I was walking there with Brett and his daughter walks by, I'd say, well, that's not necessarily. If you're right. with Brett and his daughter, but I don't know if you're at Disney with Brett and your da- yeah. his daughter by, by yourself. Myself, I, I don't know. It's just I don't something know. that people don't think yeah. about till it affects them. What I what I hated about the whole thing was somebody questioning that a a child would say that, like, oh, kids aren't smart enough to think of things like that. Right. And th- that's that was bullshit. And that that's was where first, I got yeah. mad. And that was the first thing like, my daughter my daughter saw it and said, wait a minute. Like, these are kids' toys. She didn't say girls and boys' toys. Yeah. She said kids' toys. Mm-hmm. And I was so proud of her when she said it. I'm like, you're right. You kids were a little toys. upset because you're like, they're also adult toys, honey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that's yeah. Right. I would like one as well. Tell yeah, Ken that, that yeah. they're kids' toys. <laughs> you're, you're right. But anyway, so that was, that was just the thing. And again, I'm not, I'm not, I'm really not. Why is that political? I don't understand it's not political. why. I'm not, not even in political. This... In, in totally. general, I don't like to use, I just don't like to use my platform. I'm not taking away from people that do. I just, for me, I like to tweet about movies, Schmodown, you know, other things. Kind of is about movies. There's a lightsaber. I know, but you, in d- general... you did not tweet out saying, God, gosh darn, Democrats always trying to hate on the girls. Like, well, you, it, I know. It's not political unless people make it political. You're talking about a societal issue yeah, that is it's more boys' societal, toys. Even, even so. So, see, like, I don't like to use my, my for a lot of the serious issues in general. I just don't. Yeah, just I, know, not, I noticed that. That's you don't. just not what my 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 platform is for. But that one, man, maybe exactly what you're saying is because it, it touched me, it affected me, and As I figured, it should. and I wanted to, and I just said this this bothers me. Yeah, and I thought so it was I really have. wrong. Yeah. and I can't believe that Disney is okay with that. If the store manager had said, you know, we actually find that they sell better at this store, it's hard to argue with, say, whatever, I I disagree with it, but the fact that Disney Corporation yeah. Is doing that? That's disgusting, Disney. I didn't know. I didn't. I, and I and I just, Disney pays me, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Right there, you go. I know it's true. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, yeah. You're so a shill too. Us, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Was, yeah it just it just bothered me. That's disgusting. I don't know what bothered me more though. That or the fact that Chuck Liddell fought again this weekend. That to me. Um, that bothered you. I don't know who's that. So <laughs> he was on Big Brother. It's the only reason I know. No, listen. I'm so kidding. this is a, Chuck Liddell was my favorite. UFC fighter of all time. Now I understand that there are a lot of fighters that came after him that were way more evolved and, and like GSP and th- things of that nature. But Chuck was like the first superstar of, of the UFC, right? And he was like he was lights out when he was fighting. And you know you can make the argument, well, the, the competition back then, whatever. He was knocking people out left and right. And somebody he knocked out twice was Tito Ortiz. He's like 35, 36. He hasn't fought in like 13 years, whatever it was. Last night, my friend Karen and her uh, and her husband they posted these pictures that they were at the fight, and I said, "Oh, this is a throwback from like ten years ago because they see Liddell and oh, Ortiz." Oh, you didn't fighting. even know he was fighting. No, I see the two of them. They're they're scrapping up, and I'm like, "Well, what the hell was this? Which one was this?" And I was at this first or second one, and then I see another picture of Ortiz with his hands up, like doing this thing that he does after he, victory. I'm like, "Ortiz never beat Liddell." I'm like, "No, absolutely not." So I so I Google it and I watch the fight. It is so embarrassing. That the fact because and I was getting the, the scoop from um, from Dennis, uh, who does MMA Takedown, and he was telling me that Oscar De La Hoya is basically putting on the fight, and that Ortiz and Liddell were talking smack to one another, and then they they set up the fight. Liddell, when he used to hit people ten years ago, would knock the side of your face, and he hits Ortiz at one point, and just goes, and Ortiz like, Ugh. and I'm like, and then he gets hit with this shot, it takes him out. I was I was in. 
I was, I, it was pathetic. I hated watching him fight. I hated. So you watching. think he never should have done it? No, he's forty-eight years old. He had no business being in there. <laughs> he's playing with girls' toys. <laughs> he doesn't deserve that. <laughs> How much money did he make? Do you know? He probably made a, a good amount, and probably not the money that he. You know, he's m- probably not making that kind of money now. They offered him some money to do it, but Tito Ortiz was celebrating like he just defeated Chuck Liddell in two thousand and three, and it's like, dude, you just beat a forty-eight-year-old man. It's like, come on, <laughs> like you know, it's like granted, Tito Ortiz is like forty-two. But still, it's it, he's been fighting. He's been more active. It was just I, I hated watch. I hated that that fight happened. That's just my thoughts. I know you guys don't give he, a shit. But uh, he went on. Did you watch Celebrity Big Brother at all? No. Chuck Liddell went on, and I had I had no idea about yeah. his history. He was the nicest I person in the house, yeah. but he couldn't understand the game. He couldn't grasp it. Like when you write, when you say somebody's name, you're voting to eliminate them yeah. and he kept messing it up and saying the wrong person's name he just like couldn't get there yeah. and just kept being like been hitting the head a lot He's, <laughs> he was towards, ah. towards the end of his career of yeah by yeah. The, towards the end of his career he was violently knocked out yeah like uh. three or four times like r- like some of the worst knockouts you ever saw like my one of my another fighter i really like rashad evans knocked him out bring up the rashad evans chuck liddell knockout if you can um and it was Brutal, and I hated watching Chuck go out like that. And that was like ten years ago, and he, and his jaw was just never the best. And then the fact that he he then Tito Ortiz, Tito Ortiz just really can't knock people out. Is this is this uh, this is Rashad Evans versus Liddell? Yeah, what what watch this. So this is that's Conor McGregor. Um, so Rashad Evans, just go a little farther, boys. And this, so this, I don't I remember. At least it's subtitled so I can read it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I, so, oh, yeah, go back, go back, go back. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah, watch this. Oh. And that was, that was like that. 10 years ago. And he just, and that was a shot. I mean, this shot that Rashad hit him with oh. would knock out most people. But the shot that, uh, the shot that Tito Ortiz hit him with shouldn't, it, it just, it was, it was uh. like, yeah, look, 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 big, it's, I mean, this is, this was, again, 2006 or something. Oh. Oh. It's it like it broke his yeah. neck. It, it was bad, Broke and so but, that, but that's why he couldn't remember the Big Brother game right there. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so uh, yeah. I, hate, I hated watching that. I really wish they wouldn't have fought. Um, but you know what are you gonna do? Uh, the other thing I was gonna talk to you guys about, and I think I covered everything. I covered the Deadpool stuff. I covered uh, Liddell Ortiz, New York. I yeah. My notes, Makuga's tweet, nice. roundtable. Covering it all. What time is it now? Ten thirty-seven. Proud of you. All right, let's move that's on to some show. news then. Let's get some news. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Some news. I think we'd get to be proud of each other. Oh, thank you. Okay, but you were with me for my whole journey. No, you were with me for a lot of mine though. So you got to be, I proud, can be proud of me. I'm proud of you. I am proud of you. Thank you. I am. You Go. seem like you're in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> you do. I'm waiting my whole life to hear that. Yeah, I said it to you last week. Or the two weeks ago. Yeah, whatever. but you were being facetious. No, it was not. Oh, no, yes. I won't say. I, <laughs> then it was not last week. Maybe two <laughs> weeks. Was ago. Right, it was two weeks ago. Okay. Uh, what do you got? Uh, well, we got some big uh, box office coming in. This weekend was a big box office weekend. Well, don't tell me about the the big main topic. No, no, nope, we're not doing right, the main right, topic. Oh, yeah, what was box office for the, the uh, Thanksgiving week? So Ralph breaks the internet. Uh, biggest opening all time for really? Thanksgiving. What was wow. it? Eighty four point four. That's the biggest. Is that three million. days or is that five? That's going to be the five. And, uh, and that's wow. the biggest of all time? That's what they're saying, wow. yeah. Ralph Breaks the Internet serves to... Oh, sorry. Second highest Thanksgiving opening ever. Okay, so what the three-day... Frozen. Oh. Okay, so the three-day for... Bring up the the full weekend chart up there, boys. Yeah. So the three-day for Wreck-It Ralph was $55 million. Creed Two was 35 yeah. And Dr. Seuss's uh, The Grinch was $30 million. I'm surprised these are so high, and I know that it's not just East Coast, that there's a whole other country, but everybody I knew that was going to go to the movies over Thanksgiving yeah. that was home, I don't know if you guys know, it was record cold back, yeah, in, back East. It was, it was freezing. Yeah. Like, yeah. You yeah. Tell me about this house. global warming. Then. <laughs> I definitely mean, took my joke. <laughs> <laughs> could, could not leave the house, and all of my friends, all we always go, all family, everybody was like, mm-mm. Right, not, not leaving the house to go to the movies. Oh yeah, I understand. I mean, w- uh, luckily enough, we had the Doctor Seuss uh, Grinch. The screener came in, so my daughter and I got. She wanted to see it really badly, so What'd she wanted to watch it. I had already seen it, um, and, but I thought. What'd she think? She loved it, and yeah. I think that that's what it's meant that's for. The point. Yes. I liked it enough, and and I feel like it's for them. Yes, it doesn't do anything new. 
that the old one didn't do. Yeah. Um, it just it's got some it's updated. It's got more of today's like music in it. It has the it's 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 more fit for that uh, different hairstyles. <laughs> different hairstyles, but and it it was uh, but my my daughter loved it. She loved uh, Cindy Lou Who in this one. Really reminded me of her actually. So that's why she liked it as well. Um, but look at Bohemian Rhapsody so far has been 152 mil. That's great. Yeah, that's great. I uh, love that movie. Me too. Uh, I saw Stars Born. You did. Oh, Star, hey. Star, Star what you think? I liked it. I didn't love it. You didn't love it. I liked it. I okay. liked Bohemian Rhapsody better. I, I get be why at this Ooh. point the hype would be really real for yeah. Stars Born for yeah. you. Yeah. So here's the thing, is, and I think that Bradley Cooper should be nominated for director and best actor. I thought he was incredible. I thought he was better than Lady Gaga. Me too, by a lot. Thought Lady Gaga was good. Not yeah, great. I I love Bradley Cooper she's, in this he's, movie. He's incredible. He Here's the next level for me. Yes, the biggest 100%. problem with her performance, which I thought was good, not great, was that the times that she's supposed to be the least confident is when she's the most confident yeah. because she's singing, and that and Lady Gaga shines through, and yes. that's supposed to be when she's like the timid, but. It's not. She just belted. I mean, I love my best performance. They times. show it in the trailer, and I think it played just as well in the movie as when she finally, for the first time, when yeah. he brings her on the stage and that song that she sings. Agreed. The first, ha- the first like forty-five minutes of that movie is incredible. Then it drags on for a bit, and then it hits hard, real hard at the end. Oh, um, yeah. And 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 well, and it, and it was it was effective, and I liked it. I definitely liked it, and I can understand that it will get nominated. She'll get nominated. The other movie I saw that I thought was much better. Was Green Book? I haven't oh, seen that yet. Everybody's that talking movie. about I it. I thought Green Book was great. Perry's telling me there's more controversy now because of this stupid thing that Viggo Mortensen uh, let a uh, let a racial slur slip at the at the Green. I miss this Green Book. So yeah. he I, now what he said was he said the N word on the he, when he was referring to it uh, in the actual panel itself. He was saying nobody says that anymore and but he said it when he said that he said it and Ooh. he and he said he, he, he apologized to everyone he apologized to Mahershal Ali Mahershal Ali Why did, uh, I, I forget that it was just the conversation he was having and he was trying to you know he's being up but he, he just shouldn't have said it and he should have said you know the, the n-word and always whatever it was first of all it's not true because a lot of people still say it and I included you just now not you him. right 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 and so I was like wait what what did I do um <laughs> and so uh but the, yeah and that that they're saying could could hurt his chances that aside, the controversy aside, Viggo Mortensen is amazing in the movie. He's so good in the movie. Um, he, I was worried at first because he's doing a New York accent, right? And I was like, ah, is this going to work? And it, and it did. Um, the story is true, by the yeah. way. Mahershala Ali is flawless. In everything yeah. he does. But he's so good in this movie. I'm dying I to see this movie. This movie. Scott I loved Vance, it. I think, said uh, front runner for the Oscars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It it should be. You it was it? it was it's in my top five of the year. Yeah, wow. down. I love this movie. You know what? If you hear it. this, and I saw somebody tweet this out, like people aren't seeing this because you know all the big, big, big right. movies. Yeah. You know, go see this movie. Like, get the word out. People are going to hear about it more. It. Yeah, it's not yeah. doing too well at the box office, but that's yeah. kind of be expected. Yeah, I mean, well, the question is how many how many uh, theaters is it open at, and right. it, it um, looks like it's you know there's not. It looks like there's a there's a change that people are starting to talk about it now, and I think Good. more people uh, that this movie you're going to see they'll re-release it in January after it gets nominated for everything, and it'll do really well. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I loved it. And Robin Hood ate a big pile of dicks. So look at that, Robin Hood. Uh, yeah. How, that I movie, mean, it, it, we were, it's like watching a slow moving train wreck. Yeah. You how know? much did that it's movie like, cost to make, guys? Oh, we heard. I, I heard it was like a hundred million dollars. Good yeah, for they, them. Yeah, they don't. Good, Might I mean, as well. Somebody go yeah. back. I mean, that's that is the poor. I mean, I like Taron Egerton a lot, but that is that's embarrassing. Fourteen. How is he? I haven't seen the movie. Oh, I thought you saw it and hated it. No, I didn't. Who see saw it. it and hated it? Uh, that was a lot of people. Yeah, a lot. Oh, of people actually, too. not a lot of not, people. Not many. Not many. Um, and Instant Family. Love that freaking movie. Love that movie. Wish more people would see that one. Yeah. Uh, Fantastic Beasts made one seventeen already. What has it done worldwide? Fantastic Beasts. Worldwide, 439 already. Yeah, so th- we're getting another one. Yeah, Alice we're going to get another one. one. Yeah. Here's, a, here's a I why I, I, I missed it in my head. Creed 2 is the biggest live action opening Thanksgiving all time. Hmm. Oh, wow. wow. Okay, That's good. Creed 2. Do me, there it is. Do me a favor. Cody, thank you, Cody. Cody, can you bring up <laughs> Michael B. Jordan's uh, Instagram feed, please? Um, this why is Makuga not going to like it? Tessa oh, Thompson? No, no. I, I, this was something that I, that's, I had no idea that this was a thing until yesterday. Um, where is it? So, and yeah, it's the first one, but pl- play the audio, please. In theater is at midnight. Cream. Time for the sequel, I think that 
we were looking it's for. Free. How about that? Wow. <laughs> hey. I didn't even know. That was like so bizarre. Did you pick it up, Roxy? No. I, Go back no. one more time. I was like, why are you talking during this? Wait, what? In theater is at midnight. Creed Time for the sequel, two. I think that we were looking for. Can you, can you still get it, Roxy? No. It was me. I don't know what the. I don't know how that. No one asked me. Again, I. That's said, your voice? That's my voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching the train come into yeah. the station. It's there. Like, three it's like, days come a week. Come on, Rock. <laughs> for the sequel, two. I think that we were looking for. No, get it. it's not. <laughs> yeah, no, 100%. That's you? Yes. I didn't even know. So fans were. Look at, look at Brett. But 100, 100%. People were, were tweeting me, and I was like, I didn't even know it was. It was, it was great. I, was, I don't think you need. Like, apparently, you don't need to get people's permission. I don't know. When did um, you say that? Probably in one of our shows. Somewhere, uh, Roxy, your friend or was maybe killed. I, I'm going to need you to identify the body. Oh, you know what it was? <laughs> I think it's Christian. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know I'm not good at that. No, I know listening. the game. Is yeah. true. Just said, um, but anyway, Creed says you're saying it, it is one of the. Um, Are you guys messing? No, 100. percent <laughs> Yeah, so, I, I think it's from the Schmoes review. I think it's from the Schmoes review. One more time. In theater is at midnight. Creed time for the sequel. Two. I think that we were looking it's for. Oh, you're listening to the second voice, right? Not the first the one. The first one is the sequel we've been looking for. Yes. Huh. Yes, I think it's from this. It's probably from if you guys look. The fans are better at this than I am. Um, if you guys can find out where that actual clip came from, I assume it's the Schmoes yeah. review. That's where I think it came from. Um, but you said live action is the most. Yeah, uh, the number now marks the highest Thanksgiving opening for a live action film ever, Good. taking down the record previously held by Creed One. Four oh. Christmases. Four Christmases. Remember that movie? I do remember that. Reese Witherspoon Reese and Vince Vaughn. Right? Vince Vaughn. Wow, weird. They were tell John you. Favreau is the brother that wrestles. It did wrestles really well. Apparently so. Yeah. Yeah. So Creed two, um, and Ralph breaks the internet as number one. That's exactly what everybody thought. That's yeah. what we thought. And it's 35. What did the first one make the opening weekend? Do we remember? Because it feels like it's around the same. It around the same, right? No, I think it was a little more. I, can look up. I think you're right. I think it was like 45, yeah. right? What was the opening weekend for... It, it domestic, but look, it, it made 109. It, we can, oh no, 29. Oh, it was less. Wow. It was less. So it's it's hmm. better. So people, I'm full of crap. Yeah, people were, were excited Same. about. It. I mean, I, th I can't remember where. Oh no, uh, Jay Williams, who who I love, um, he was like, I could see this thing reaching 100 mil. Yeah, nah, that kind of pull. Not with the, um, not with this lineup. Nah, the lineup not is too as big. big of a twat take yeah. as Roka's 200 for Aquaman. Well, he can't we'll still see. think. Do you have that? Oh, he's doing the sports thing. Uh, he can't still think that. No, he, he, he does. No, he does it anymore, right? He, have you talked to him about it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. right. Well, you just, you just <laughs> do, you, no. You I mean, it's like when you're looking at. We were on movie talk before Thanksgiving right. weekend, and we were talking about all the box office stuff with Bumblebee. Bumblebee's moving a. a like you can see Bumblebee early now next week. Oh, they're like putting one day only. You can go get tickets. Oh, wow. And I'm like, well, that makes sense. Bumblebee's yeah. coming out, Mary Poppins Returns, and uh, Aquaman all at the same time. Everybody's trying to like well, Aquaman's move. doing that too. And Aquaman's doing you... that. Everybody's trying to get a kickstart yeah. on yeah. the box office for that because that's Killer's Row. Yeah, right well, there. You you bring up Mary Poppins, and I have a big dilemma um, because Thursday I'm going to the premiere of Mary Poppins. Right? Nice. Can I come? What's that? Uh, yeah. You can. I need somebody to take pictures of me on the red carpet. Um, I got you. But no, the but it's also the same day as the Avengers, huh? Uh, Avengers oh, screening, yeah. isn't it? No, Wednesday. Oh, it's Wednesday. Well, Wednesday is Avengers. So who told me this? Is Roka. I'm gonna listen to that guy. Oh, so never mind. I can't come to that. Wednesday night is the Avengers uh, screening mm. at the ArcLight. You yeah. can still get tickets today, right? I or are we you sold out? Still, uh, it's so yeah, go, to collider. go to collider. Go to collider.com. Uh, it's still up. You it's can a Q and a, a with the Russo brothers. Q and A with the Russo brothers. Make sure that you guys get your tickets if you still can. I just go to again, go to Collider.com. It is at the dome. I think a thousand people can can get into that thing. So go and check it out. I'm gonna try to get there then on Wednesday if that's yeah. the case. Yeah. Um, so you actually have no conflict, and we're just bragging that you have great things on Wednesday out, and Thursday. It, it turns out to be that's what yeah. what it was. I thought I actually had a dilemma, but no, it was just it was a it was a non humble brag. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm, that's what it mm -hmm. was. So um, I will be at. Thursday taking creepy pictures of people on the internet with my daughter. So if I take a picture of my uh, my daughter, my your this. daughter, that's creepy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's creepy. Um, what? Uh, Hello. What, yeah. Anything Am else I that we your got? Daughter? Uh, well, there's some. Oh, uh, another <laughs> update from my wife who just texted me. Also, bring home my Tupperware. Oh. I got to bring home Tupperware. Also, uh, yeah, you yeah. stole the Tupperware? I guess. Yeah. Criminal offense. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Apparently, I have. She asked, "Where's all the Tupperware?" I said, "I don't think it's at work." <laughs> and then she said, "I don't think that's true." 
Yeah. So the there, no, you know what? There's some Tupperware here. You it's should a lot probably break them. There's a lot of Tupperware. No, right. yeah. There's nothing more frustrating than when, like, she knows it's about you someone took texting. It. Is no, it's frustrating? She she's texting knows, me about it on the air. No, she no. knows you took it because she didn't. Yeah. So it has to be you. Well, not necessarily. My daughter could have taken it outside and used it. My daughter put everything possible on her head. And made a made a costume out of it, so it's possible she could have taken. That's where her Tupperware is. What are you talking about? Pictures. I'll show you a picture during the break. She dressed up uh, in this in this outfit for Halloween. Super, no, she just felt like dressing up, and she did it. And she was a superhero for the weekend. So that, that's 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 the picture. That's awesome. Yeah, she just yeah she put like a fighting gear on her. Where's head her lightsaber? She wasn't allowed to get it because it was a boy store. <laughs> oh, um, you know, speaking of lifesavers, I can't believe we missed this news because this what? is huge. Oh, oh I see. George Lucas is going to shoot the Obi Wan movie. <laughs> so stupid! Isn't that weird <laughs> that Just this slipped by us? People kept tweeting me this story. This oh is... no, we did you? You're on the same thread. I must have muted somebody because sometimes Star Wars fans are the worst. Wait, why were people? What happened? So Just, we're getting there. Okay. But uh, I, <laughs> I see somebody literally screaming at the void down. You're on this thread too, and I texted Ken. I'm like, "Is this? Are you seeing this?" And it just kept going. And I'm like, "I must have muted somebody a while ago because this guy's yelling at people for this." Uh, yeah. Anyways, this is a report from uh, Movie Web uh, that. You know, I don't even give. I don't even want to give credit to the person that originally. Movie came up with and, it. and this is just this. They this is not their. Yeah, no, no, it's not them. So. It's where they got it yeah. because this is the thing. So a while back, there was a story that came out about Palpatine being in Episode Nine, and I I am pretty convinced that I think he will be. I think I think they're going to relate it to him. I think JJ is going to throw back just from interviews that he's had before, things that they didn't that were rumored in his Force Awakens that never happened. That I think that'll play into Episode Nine. Um, that's why I said, oh, you know, this would be a good conversation to have about whether or not we think Palpatine will be in Nine. Oh, the backlash on it because of where the of us talking about it because of where it origi originated from. Now the guy's seen that all the stuff that he had reported on Palpatine. I don't know if it's real. I don't give a shit if it's real. It's just my conversation was whether or not he was going to be in the movie. I believe he will be. And people are like, why are you giving this guy credit? I go, I'm not. I'm having a conversation of whether or not I think he's, he's going to be, be in the movie. movie. Right. And you know, he he might he might have gotten lucky with this one, right? <laughs> if that is indeed the case. This is the same guy that I believe. Originated this. This is horseshit. This is complete and utter horseshit. They're not what is he, so saying that saying, George Lucas is going to be is out in Scotland shooting the Obi Wan or scouting to shoot the Obi Wan why movie is he in saying Ireland. That, though? I, because he, I, well, there was this guy Boris Johnson yeah. who did this. I, I think he got it wrong. I think he he basically thinks Star Wars is George Lucas still, and right. he said, oh, they're going right. to shoot an Obi Wan movie. The, the, yeah, this has been de, de, it's de, not debunked, it's, but it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Yeah. It's complete and utter bullshit. There's no Obi Wan movie coming. What would you do if it wasn't? I I would be very shocked. I would be very shocked. I think I everybody would, would be, but I, I want be, you to I, put what, something on. I it. would be excited. I would oh. be excited, I, and I would say. No, Great. I meant like streak or like wear Red Sox stuff for a week or something. If, oh, if like this, you want to <laughs> bet? No, because I'm not. This, I'm, I'm not betting. I just this, want to yeah. know if this movie, if they eventually did a TV show, which I think that they could, and, and George Lucas is involved in somehow down the line in three, four, five years ago, I'd say that's very possible. Um, a movie coming out anytime within the next, because if he's shooting now, means it would come in the next two, three years. Yeah. Um, I'll eat Riley's laptop computer <laughs> okay. on air. And if, that's if, the they announce, if they announce, if they announce, Riley got the short end of that stick. Yeah. If they, and, and, I'll buy, and, then I'll, and then I'll buy him a new one. Yeah. Um, Obi, if the Obi Wan movie is announced with George Lucas directing it, it is the biggest bunch of bullshit that has ever come out. Here's ever. the thing about these movies that they that they will do: if they start shooting, Disney will usually nine times out of ten put out a press yes, release because they don't want it to leak. They don't want to leak. Yeah. It's a big announcement. They get people excited. The shareholders would know about it. The shareholders would know about it. They would talk yeah. about it. Yes. If, so, if George Lucas was working on stuff, it would be a big thing for I'm shareholders. With you. you know, I know you are. I'm just telling you in general. Yeah. I now, mean, George Lucas directing a Disney movie of his own brand that he that created quiet. is the biggest story in Star Wars yeah, yeah. right now. Just to put it into perspective yeah. here. So, if George Lucas comes back, 100%. Yeah, it's that is yeah. huge. It's complete and utter horseshit. I went into the Collider Jedi Council face group and I said, hey, everybody, just to let you know that Obi-Wan story is horseshit. Yeah, <laughs> it's we got tagged a lot on that. Complete garbage. Um, yeah, the other thing that was, that it was such a debate because I did, because um, Ken and I, for the pre tape last week, mm -hmm. we for Jedi Council, we shot in here. Right. And you know me, I hate, stu I hate Studio A. I, I cannot yeah, stand you're it. you're over it. I hate Why? it. Why? It's such a, it's just like, I, I don't like the television format of, 
Look in the camera. Now you go. Now you go. Now you go. Now you go. I love it in there so much. I hate it. Uh, I like it for Schmodown. I think it works for Schmodown. I don't, I just don't, I, I don't, I'm over that format of like, here's the story. What's your opinion? Morning glory. Now there's your opinion. What's your opinion? It's no conversation. Like this, this is, this is what I like. Like I've always been like more of the, what's everyone want to talk about? And I thought there was so much better conversation inside of what Ken and I talked about. Half the people who were with me on that, the other half liked the old stuff. And, other, and people were saying, you know, because you, I think you can still get the news and do it the same way, but because it's called Jedi Council and there's supposed to be a full council, it'll, it'll, it'll stay like that. But what, what can I do about it? Yeah. 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 But, you know, it's a, a lot. I feel like you could do a lot of things. I mean, I'm trying to turn, I'm trying to turn the conversation more. Like I don't, I don't stick to the, the format as much anymore. I just have a conversation of like, let's just go. And if we happen to cover all this stuff, great. If not, let's just, let's just have conversations. I think my, some of my, the last, I feel like last month with myself or like whether it's Emma or Dorina or whoever it might be, um, or Kim Horcher when she's been on, I think those conversations have been great lately. And it's not its not that I haven't liked the shows that we've been doing in a, it's, I don't like that feel. I just don't like that feel of just the, the I think that the feel on YouTube is dead. I just feel like the old school kind of, I'm just not a big fan of it. Yeah. But um, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, last bit of news because it, it, it thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Cody. That was brilliant timing. You yeah. saw, I, I, he saw me. Uh, I saw something. a lot of dung takes when it came to this. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. So uh, this, I, this I don't. Is, if it leave it to Twitter. This, this is a bigger conversation. I want to hold is. this for break. I want to hold this for the, let's when do we it. Come back because when we Got get it. back, we'll talk about Disney. Disney movies taking all their animated, taking them to. Is it live action? Is it not? Is it a different form of, oh, of animated? To say. A I lot. Love this. And then we'll also talk about Venom, topping Wonder Woman at box office, then we're gonna do some live questions, Twitter, and calls from you guys, Cloud Alive. No, it's not late to the party. That's actually from Obi-Wan Kenobi. You didn't know that? Well, you should, and now you do. Jedi Council, what is it? It's about Star Wars, obviously. It's Jedi Council. Every week, the latest and greatest in Star Wars movie news, myself and Ken Knapsack, that's right, the pit boss himself, we have a guest on, and we talk about everything happening in the world of Star Wars. If it's the movie news, the TV news, canon news, comic books, games, and then we take questions from you guys on Facebook and Twitter. It's a lot of fun. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. I'm still excited talking about it. The fan base is coming together again. I believe it is. I think it is. I hope it is. And we're talking Star Wars, so we like you. That's right. All of you, if you're not a fan of Star Wars, come on over and join us every Thursday for Collider Jedi Council here on Collider Video. And we have an Apple Podcast feed or Podcast One, wherever you want to go if you listen to podcasts. And not only do you get Collider Jedi Council every week on Thursday, The Rule of Two with Mark Fernandez and Mark Riley, that's on every week. I believe it drops on Wednesday. It's on one of these days. It's a good show. You should listen to it. I like it. I listen to it. I haven't listened to it once. Hey, guys. Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com. And if you're a pro wrestling fan, which... I hope you are, even if it's in secret, then you should be checking out Wrestling Sheet Radio Weekly. Uh, we've got a bunch of shows in the podcast feed. We've got weekly recaps from myself and John Roca, which you guys will probably know from the Collider family. Uh, that's for Raw, that's for SmackDown. We've also got the weekly roundup of wrestling news. It's a show I host called Wrestling Sheet Radio with Jamie Ivey and Elijah Bates. And we've also got a bunch of other stuff in our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. So check it out, subscribe, and I hope you guys dig it. Hey everyone, Mark Ellis here. You know, when I'm not trying to clone dinosaurs or drinking in my neighborhood watering hole, I am probably hosting Collider Movie Talk. It's a flagship show here at Collider. I like to say that because I'm the host of it. It's every day, almost. It's four days a week, which is still pretty good, above 50%. You can watch it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 4 p.m. Los Angeles time is when we do it. It's live, so you can participate in the live chat room. Go ahead and give us your thoughts on every story we have coming, because it's all the latest movie news of the day. Who did what at the box office? What horrible red box movies Bruce Willis signed on to? The DC, the Marvel, the Star Wars, the Lord of the Rings. Are they making new? I think they're, they're, it's a TV show, and we still might talk about it anyway, because we love movies around here. It's myself and an ex 
expert panel of guests, including John Roca, Perry Nemiroff, Jeff Snyder, and other noted noters of note. You guys are going to love this show. And then we take your live Twitter questions at the end of the show at Collider Video. You can always use the hashtag Collider Movie Talk to get in touch with us. So subscribe right here to Collider Video. Check out Movie Talk and check out the Collider Movie Talk podcast feed. We have a podcast feed now. You don't have to look at this handsomeness. You can just listen to it, whether you're driving to work, whether you're driving from work, or you don't have a job, but you have a basement and ears. You can listen to Collider Movie Talks feed. You can get it at Apple Podcasts or on iTunes. You also get Mailbag. That's the show that's hosted by Perry Nemeroff a lot more professionally than I run this pirate ship. That's our weekend show where she takes your letters. I don't know if you write them or you email them. You have to ask her. And Afterthoughts, hosted by Ryan Snelling and Jay Williams. I almost said Ryan Williams and Jay Snelling. Would anybody have known the difference? I certainly would. I would have felt bad about it. Because I'm a nice person, and that's why I host Collider Movie Talk. Check it out in video form or on our podcast feed. What's up, Collider fans? If you are a fan of television and you want to watch a guy that looks like me and a guy named Thad Williams talk about TV every single Friday, subscribe to the Collider channel. Collider Podcast is where you can find the video. Uh, we have our own iTunes feed, hashtag at Collider TV Talk. You can find it on iTunes or wherever you find your podcast and you listen to them in your ear holes. That's where Collider TV Talk comes at you. We talk about TV news. We talk about shows we love, shows that we don't love. And most importantly, we don't read any books because... Because TV has nothing to do with reading. We also have a show called Hypothetical Questions with myself and Roxy Stryer and all kinds of reviews right here at the Collider Podcast channel and the Collider TV Talk feed. Subscribe, rate, like, tell your friends, tell all your friends and tell their friends. And before you know it, it's a pyramid scheme of television. I'm Josh McCuga. You can see Thad Williams and myself along with Roxy Stryer and all the Collider personalities all the time right here on Collider TV Talk. As always, put down the book, pick up the remote. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Movie Manson. Just to let you know, if you already don't, every Friday here on Collider Video, I host a weekly film review series called Movie Review Talk. The title says it all. Every week I'm joined by two guest critics of my choice and they're never the same. We review the new films. We pick something that's streaming that you might not know about but is really great. And we pick a Blu-ray for something that you might have missed in theaters. It is fun, it is infectious, it is the Citizen Kane of movie review shows and it's only right here on Collider with this guy, Scott Movie Mance, Mr. Movie Release Dates himself. Check it out every Friday at 10 a.m. AM Pacific only on Collider Video. I love the Lion King music. This, this is such great Lion King music. <laughs> sure. uh, we are back. It's Collider Live. And it is Monday morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome ah. back. Thank you, Cody. Appreciate <laughs> it. Go ahead, Cody. Jar it up. Let's do it. Ah. Perfect. I was I was really hoping you were gonna go eighth. Eighth. Nine. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well done. Um, yeah, so the, the Lion King stuff happened. So the, the trailer came out on, was it Friday? Live yeah. Action? This is the exact. Or Thursday. Did it come out Thanksgiving? Um, Thanksgiving. Whatever. Whatever. It came out. Thanksgiving during football. Out. Yeah. Um, this was the exact trailer that we saw at D23 when we lost our minds when we saw this thing then. Uh, right. Did you get a chance to see it? I didn't see it. You didn't see it. This is the first time I saw okay. it, and I fucking loved it. I, and I used the F word. I so there it loved is. it when I saw it. Um, I loved it when I saw it again. It is, you know, there's this argument of the: is it live action? Is it not live action? Because it's a it's a fancier form of animated. Like if you get into an argument with William Bibiani, he'll he'll fight you to the death to tell you that it's just animated. And he and he, and he poked the bear, and he did it, and he did it, in a, and I and I hope he's listening because he did it in a very. Bibiani way. He usually does listen. He, I know he does. And he did it in a Bibiani way when he tweeted. He's like, oh, this is going to be, could they get nominated for another anim animated film where he knows he was doing the goat. He wanted people to come in and go, it's live action. So then he can argue with people that it wasn't live action. I happen to think it is more of a live action thing. Um, it feels like a live action movie to me. The whole point is to that's try the to. the whole point. It looks it. Yeah. That's... It's, it's that the technology yeah. is there to make it look. But I see I, the argument, though. I do I, see I the do argument. I do, too, but. This is the problem I have with this kind of stuff. Okay. Everybody's enjoying themselves, and then it's like all of a sudden this sub-conversation starts happening where people yelling at each other over whether it's live action or animated. And it's just like, go outside and smell some flowers, yeah. please. Th that, it just becomes a thing that I'm like, I, I'm over it. That conversation didn't bother me as much as the other ones. So I started seeing other things. And people that I like, they're friends, friends of mine. Too, I saw well, my one friend who, who wrote, um, who actually is coming to the live event, I believe, in New York. 
who wrote, there's two sides of me right now. There's the one side that can't wait to see the Lion King. Then the other side that goes, this is just a cash grab. That Disney's trying to do this and that. And I'm like, first of all, every movie is a cash grab. Every single movie is every a cash grab and they're trying to make money. Business. It's business. Every movie is a cash grab. Uh, the second thing is, don't fall into the trap of that's what everyone's saying right now. Why are they doing this? Because you can, because in a live action format, whether or not you think it's live action or not, just like Jungle Book, you can expand on the lore and you can do more inside of the live action type of format than you couldn't do in animation or that you, you know, you could, you, you can make it more of an adult themed if you wanted to, right? And it's still geared for kids, obviously, it's a Lion King, but you know what I mean as far as like the tone itself. Yes. Um, and I think that this is a movie that looks. Incredible. Why are we why do we just shit on things to shit on things? I don't understand that's, that. That's where that's my internet. conversation is going yeah. because it becomes you pick on something and then it turns and then it's like this game of telephone where everybody's jumping in and like your reference the other day when we were talking, it's like, what are you doing? I don't know. Somebody's on Twitter and just throwing rocks. It's right. like that's kind of what it feels like. What is the thing with James Earl Jones? I saw a comment about that. He's back. I he's coming back. He's, he's doing people Mufasa. Were, People are upset that he's coming back. I don't know. No, there was some beef. About, I didn't get it. I just saw something about James Earl Jones, and I didn't know I if know, it was no, somebody who's mad or. I didn't hear. It, it, I think it. he's back. Are you gonna say something? I, I, to pull an Alex, I don't care at all. No, yeah. how, you care about the movie? Yeah, I care oh, a lot oh, yeah, about right, the movie. Right, right. I don't care how it's classified. What it, I don't care. Right. I don't get why any why do I don't care. Right. Yeah. You just want to see it. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. What about boys, what do you think in the in the booth back there? Cody, you got I mean you you were probably two when this movie came out, right? Uh Zero. one or two, probably. One or two. What year did it come out? Ninety four. Ninety four. That was two. You were two. Yeah. All right. So you were two, but you eventually saw the movie. Yeah. Are you pro or con this movie coming out in live action form? Uh I'm pro. I've seen this trailer like ten times. Right. It. It's, it's great, great, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Um, it's so good. That's yeah. awesome. What do you? What say you of the naysayers? Uh, people just shitting on things to shit on. That's things. That's what I feel it's like fun. it's like. I agree with you. And Alex, I know you don't care about anything, but do you care about this? I'm super excited for the movie. I don't really care about the classification of it if it's right. live action or animated. Who it's cares? Just, it looks odd. It looks I great. Don't. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Can we? Can you guys pull a, a, a sound clip for uh, a future show of Fred Armisen of the? So what? Who cares? Because that's I think we need to use that a lot in this show. I yeah, think that this, it comes up so much. It, it's just People's such a silly People's lives argument. must be going so much better than mine. That they like care if about that's this? what you're if that's what you're bitching about, like that's what right. you're finding time to complain about. Like I want your life. But I just had that conversation with somebody. I, I, <laughs> I hate don't even the think argument. They know. I think yeah. they just go in all I'm just in. Just saying. Uh, but I hate the argument of people saying like they don't make original stuff. There's tons of original stuff out there. There are t go see uh, go see Overlord. Go see Green Book. Go see Overlord. Go see Green Book. There's tons of original stuff out there. I hate that argument. It's a stupid argument. You know what I argument. watched this uh, weekend on the train? Upgrade. How oh, was uh, it? Beardo hated it. Uh, I didn't. Right, Beardo. I thought they love. I thought the Booth people yeah. loved it. Everyone loved it except Beardo. Where's Beardo? Parts He's working on his. Oh, oh man. yeah. <laughs> Parts of it Sorry, were we're working on his spoons. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't have. We don't there have. Some really, to be perfectly honest, there are some really weak performance moments. Yeah. But the okay. actual story is kind of cool. I predicted what was going to happen. Yeah. Uh, but I liked it, and it got my attention. And I was like, okay. It was a throwback from what I. It's, it's still one. I still haven't seen it. Uh, it's one of these movies that is a throwback to the old kind of Verhoeven. Um, yeah. Yeah, we RoboCop and things of that nature. So I, I'd be very, it, right? because of that. I, I am very curious what you would think. I'm putting this movie still in my top ten. It's in your oh, top 10. You, for you the loved year. it. I yeah. it was good. I loved it because it. of all the because of that kind of feeling you get the RoboCop kind of feeling. The you know, yeah, I kind of called what happened at the end, but by then it's like I'm. I don't even I'm care. In. Yeah, it was yeah. good. I also saw. What was it? First Reformation? First? Which one? Ethan Hawke's movie? Oh, 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 uh, the but the priest? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I watched a lot of it. I missed the, le the last fifteen minutes. So I watched it because I was pretty positive that my friend Christian Harloff told me that it was amazing, mm -hmm. and then halfway through I was like, "Oh, that wasn't this movie. No. Why am I watching this?" Yeah. Uh it was okay. Yeah, I, I, that's why I, I didn't. It makes a weird I, I twist to towards it. the end where you're uh, like, "Yeah, I didn't see that part of it. Don't huh. tell." Me. Um, but huh. the other one, I tell you, I think I talked about. Can you forgive me? Did I talk about that? Yeah, yeah. I talked about that. So there's tons of things that I'm catching up with. This year, I feel like last year's movies, there were like a ton more that we were, you got to, you got that's the one you got to catch. You got to see that. There's there's Green Book. There's uh, what's the um, Alfonso Cuarón, Roma. Roma is the one I need to see. Um, 
twenty second of July. No, I still think there are amazing ones from earlier in the year that I'm upset that people didn't see. Miseducation of Cameron Post. I've been mm. such an advocate for that, but people didn't see it because they went and, and waited for Boy Erased because mm. mm. they have similar. Yeah, Boy Erased is one that we. I want to see that. We started watching too. that the other night, and this has nothing to do with the movie. I fell asleep because I was just exhausted. I think we started watching it on Thanksgiving, and I was all turkeyed and uh, you know mashed potatoed out. So my wife and my father in law are watching it. They did not like it. Oh. They did not like it at all. They were they were completely bored with, with it. But that's the, you know we'll we'll, we'll see. Oh, Jim Wilson I didn't it. like it. Yeah, it's didn't like it. Eighth um, grade was so good. Which eighth grade? grade? Eighth. Which one? Eighth. Uh, eighth. eighth. Which, which grade was eighth. it, Josh? Josh, I, and I couldn't eighth. Hear, wait. Sorry. What what grade was it? Eighth. I, I I'm sorry. I'm nine. Having, I, no, it's not ninth. Ninth. No, it's not the ninth. Can I? Nine. Ask, no, no, no it's, not it's, nine. It's, it's not nine. Can I have a? Sorry, Cobb. Uh, no, 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 I'm not. I'm, again. I'm Christian. It's actually in the Christian. Group. Can I? Can I? What? What grade? Eight. Oh, thank you. Mm. Um, all right. Let's also move on here to. I saw Deadpool two last night. And what do you think? Yeah. What do you think? Did you tweet <laughs> about it and give us some ideas? <laughs> no. For the first time. I yeah yeah. What'd you no, think? I really enjoyed it. I, I yeah yeah. I love the first one. I love this. I love all the the little jabs at the other. Uh, Marvel Meta. movies yeah, and yeah, things, yeah. and yeah, that was, great. that was fun. Tully, that was, that was another one I really Tully's liked good. earlier. In Tully, the year. Tully a lot. Yeah, did yeah. you see Tully? Was Tully better than Sully? Tully was. Better I than thought Sully, Tully was better yeah. than Sully. I liked Sully just fine yeah. though. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, Riley. Yeah. Big story here. Big uh, story. Venom, mm. which Roxy, I'm sure, is excited about this. No, I don't know if you're excited about I'm, this news. I'm not. Exci- I'm definitely not excited about this. Right, right. I forgot because of what because of what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you like the movie of Venom. But it took out Wonder Woman overall internationally. How much money? This this is very this is baffling to me. Yeah, I got to be honest. Even even if I thought the movie was good, it taking out Justice League was one thing because yeah. people didn't right. love that movie. Right, but but it took out Wonder Woman. How yeah. much? How much more? So Venom made. I'm pulling up right now. So yeah. it basically exhibitor relations a great. Twitter account if you want to follow because okay. they give you these updates. Well, uh, pulled in 21.3 internationally this weekend. Crazy. 610 total in a box office buffet of 822 million worldwide. And what's what's yes, Wonder Yes, it passed Wonder Woman. What's Wonder Woman? We're going to go there. And right how now. long did it take? So this this movie came out in October and then Wonder Woman it's grand total, there we go, is four, 821. So it just beat it and it's still Crazy. going. It's still going. Yeah. That's nuts. I This really does bother me because, like I said, I liked Venom. Venom was totally a, for me, it was fun. It's not a better movie than Wonder Woman, though. But it's not a better movie. And Wonder Woman being by far, in a way, the best movie that the world of DC has right now. uh, Yeah. uh, well, it's one's a movie for boys and one's a movie for <laughs> girls, so you know, it's maybe less girls go to the movies. That's a good, right. that's a good point. <laughs> right, because they're not allowed. Well, they put a sign. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A sign <laughs> maybe that would help is. clarify. Yeah. Uh, but that's, I mean, it's really, it's it's really nuts because I, if you would have told me, I remember when we had the conversations on the air about this movie, we didn't think it was going to make that much money opening weekend, and then you know, j- shit face on us because we have it's eight hundred twenty two. Worldwide, the, the, and it's still going. The opening weekend is one thing. Crazy. This is ridiculous. This ridiculous. Is crazy. I can't believe that. I mean, these are people going back and seeing this thing over it's and over. It's the again. Russian bots, and it's no. fine. I mean, I'm not saying don't see a movie that you like, but I, I just, it, it it's baffling. Wonder my mind. Woman's Wonder Woman. I mean, it, what hey, else? It's yeah, Wonder I mean, Woman. It's this is one of those. Every once in a while, you get those anomalies that just keep like Jurassic uh, World, right? Good movie, but it made over a billion dollars. Can you bring up Jurassic World, guys? And I remember there was that whole thing of there was that, and then Fast and the Furious that year hit a billion. So Jurassic World overall, 1.6 billion. Now, is that a when And show me what the second one did worldwide. Jurassic I liked World 2. Jurassic World. The first, well, Jurassic World was all right. Um, the 1.3 billion? Get out of here, really. Jeez. I did not know that one yeah, crossed that, a billion. Also, yeah, so that, it's that just a franchise going, thing at that point. Yeah, well, because uh, look at look at you. I mean, domestic. I mean, four hundred sixteen. That's crazy. And foreign, eight hundred eighty-eight. That was a that's a very quiet one point three billion. Yeah, it people, is very people quiet. People like dinosaurs. Absolutely, they it's do. True. But but normally, like when the first Jurassic World hit a billion dollars, it was a big thing. Everyone was talking about it. Cody, did you know that, that this one made one point three bill? Yeah, I thought you I did? heard that somewhere. 
Okay, because I mean, these guys. I mean, if they didn't know about it, then we then we'd have problems. But They're they the Jurassic. Yeah, they yeah. knew about it. But it's uh, what other movies? See if you guys can do a search on what other movies this year crossed a billion. I mean, How many movies in the w- ever have ever? crossed a billion? Right, that probably do you want to do worldwide? I have, I have the the it open right well, now. Well, there you go. All got, they got it. So yeah. it's it, let's do. We'll do worldwide. If you worldwide is uh, the first one across a billion. I want to see it. I want to see it first. Yeah. So they're, they're going to bring it up because it's. It's up, yeah, right there, worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. Yeah, all right, so bring bring us in close here. Avatar is number one, right? Mm-hmm. Titanic, Force Awakens, Infinity War clocks in at number four. So there's there's your first one from this year at, at what, what was the final? $2.2 billion. That next one is going to crush. That's got a shot to beat Avatar. It's got a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jurassic World, no, no, Marvel's The Avengers, Furious 7, Avengers Age of Ultron. Black Panther, Harry Potter, uh, can you go up a little bit, boys? Last Jedi, no. Fallen Kingdom, there's your second one, okay. Frozen, no. Beauty and the Beast, Incredibles 2. Wow, Incredibles 2 at 1.2, so there's your third. Fate of the Furious, uh, Iron Man, Minions, nothing, nothing else. Because all those, I guess the highlighted one in yellows are from this year, right? We keep scrolling yeah. down. I'm curious when we stop hitting over a billion. We stopped. Okay, so the last 36 one is, movies ever. Yeah, the Dark Knight. So they should re-release Harry Potter uh, and the Sorcerer's Stone again so they can cross it to a, a billion. But that's – so you had three from this year. That's that's pretty that's pretty big. And and it's the it's first crazy. time out of that that a Star Wars movie has been released that it doesn't it doesn't hit. Which one? Solo? Solo. Yeah. Solo. Oh, yeah. Uh, what did Solo do overall, guys? Oh. Solo. Did so, was, I, I don't think Sean it, I think it was five hundred million. All did in. it do that well? I would be surprised if it did that no, well. No, Overall, no, no three hundred ninety-two. Domestic all, made two hundred thirteen. Oh Jesus! Yeah. I was way off. Production was the production. Wow. Uh, not available. Of course, it's not because <laughs> because of all the reasons we're talking about yeah. that. That's not a three hundred. You look at that. Normally, three hundred ninety-two is a good number. When you look at all the reshoots and the marketing, that is a uh, that is not a good number. This is a not bad good. number. Not yeah. for Star Wars. Not um, at least they have the Obi Wan movie. Yeah, I'm shocked what people think out there about uh, about the Venom thing. Because what is what do you think it was? I think that people like to stick it to the man, and when you hear, uh, in this case, the man is critics. Mm-hmm. And people mm-hmm. crabbing on it, and when people don't like something, you want it. Sometimes people want to be different, especially if they like it. It's, yeah, especially if you like it, you yeah. want to go support it, see it multiple times. Uh, I think that some people really don't like the third act of Wonder Woman. I think that probably hurts it for its rewatchability. Some people, and, and I, I'm going to get torn apart for this, but some people in the country still don't like the, in the world, still don't like the idea of a female. Superhero, so. but the movie still made eight hundred twenty-two yeah, million dollars. It did. Like, it did. It's the fact that this movie. That I, I think it's less about what was wrong with Wonder Woman at this point, as and much what as was right what, with Venom. what do you think was think, right with Venom. I think it's way more about what was right with Venom, but I think it, there's a combination because I think Wonder Woman still had the potential to hit across the bill. Yeah, yeah, I don't disagree with that. Um, this is it's nuts. I do want to get. I still want to get those questions that start flying in now. Hashtag Collider Live. If you want to talk about this, any of the stuff that we talked about today or something new, then that that's for you guys. Bring it up. We're Hashtag take, that's the show. Yep. Mm-hmm. We're going to bring in some phone calls for sure. We'll do that. We'll bring in some calls. Um, and, yeah, so anything you guys want to talk about, Riley will be going through the Twitter questions. Again, hashtag Collider Live to get your questions in there. And we'll also be taking some phone calls. But is there anything else out there that we're that we're missing? Anything big? Ah! No, we talked about that, Cody. Yeah, Thank you so much. Right. Um, is there anything that you guys want to talk about, <laughs> Cody? How much? I mean, Cody, how much did you weigh before Thanksgiving? Uh, not a lot. And how much do you weigh now? Still not a lot. Christian. <laughs> Fine. All right. no, you nine. Eight, eight nine. pounds. I eight. love Cody how many so pounds? much. Eight. Is that is that Makuga? Is he in there? <laughs> eight. Eight. He's actually maybe in there. eighty-nine. That's, that, the Makuga's actually in there. Eight. That's, that's not. Yeah, that's not. That's not the sign by. That's him. Oh. Yeah. No so, way. Yeah, eight. Eight. Yeah. eight. Yeah, so if you do the actual bit, that no, was it's hem- a sound bite. No, it's eleven it's thirty. Him. He's out of there now. It's a sound bite. Does he? Eight. No. And you think you're on Michael B. Jordan's Instagram? Uh, I'm telling you, Cody was was Makuga in there? Uh, I can't confirm nor deny. Exactly. Oh, well, yeah, that's perfect. perfect. Yeah. All right. Um, How do you know eight. these things? Because you know, can't hear the little bit. I also know when voiceovers about to come into film like that, like when they're about to start it. I just I've trained my head to know exactly when a voiceover is about to start. Yeah. It's a great talent, isn't it? I'm proud of you. You should be. <laughs> I've been working hard on it. Mm. It's really good. Eight. Eight. Eighth. Uh, eighth. That That's is a sound bite. Uh, we don't, did I t- you should watch the end. We, we gave Dorina a test, 
and we let her watch the firecracker hammer. Do you think she hated it, was impartial, or loved it? I think she loved it. <laughs> You're so upset. Watch. I don't think you would have asked me otherwise. Watch. Why did she join Wednesday? She yeah. was on Wednesday. She yeah, came yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. She was on Wednesday. Um, but they, we're gonna sh they're gonna show you Darina's reaction. Oh, this is a commercial. Don't worry about it, Hold guys. Hold on, we gotta get the reaction. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, here it is. Here's the reaction. Here it is. Oh, keep going. <laughs> no, that's making that's, me watch it. I was again? just making you watch it. We're not gonna show the reaction. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, it just says fire. Oh. Yeah, we just wanted to show you the firecracker hammer, and oh. it, it that she loved it. She loved it. She loved it. But I think she also Why? because she well because I think that she knew she was very aware of it because it, it takes place in Mexico and she knew she knew that, the culture why yeah. they did that. I want to get I want to do a side by side comparison uh. of you watching it and her watching it. You just kind of turning away and just this face of that's one of you out of all the clips we showed you. You hate that one the most, right? I really don't like it. <laughs> So funny. To me. I don't like it. Um, all right, let's start taking some questions here from Collider Live, uh, the 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 hashtag, as well as some phone calls. Cody, if you can flash that number up on the screen for our lovely callers, that'd be amazing. I got a I got a good question. I'll throw out with the uh, Lion King stuff. Sure. The problem with this is from Sam uh, Sam Anderson asking, uh, do you think the problem with the Lion King trailer? It is just nostalgia, just nostalgia. The marketing. Because it feels hollow. Maybe something different new would sell it, but it feels like a cover band version. You haven't seen the movie. Right. It's like, yeah, because they opened up. What did they do? They, 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 they're going to hook you by saying, the point of it was not to say, this is going to be a shot-by-shot -shot remake. The point was, look how realistic this looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at this moment. You know that moment that you know so well of, of Raf what's his name? The, the Rafiki. Rafiki holding up Simba. And That's showing so... it to everybody, we're going to show you that if it was real animals. Yes. And guess what? The animals are going to talk. And we got the same fucking voice. That's two. From the first movie. That's fine. Use Do it that. again. It's like, that is, that's the point of them to try to hook you into it. To make you go, whoa. Not if the whole, there's going to be a lot of the same moments. It's exactly the like Jungle Book. Jungle Book spun it and did new stuff yeah. with it. And I think this is exactly what Lion King's going to do. It's not about just the nostalgia. Is that a part of, part of it? It's what we talked about on Wednesday. Nostalgia has to play a part. It's, that's that's the hook, but it's a matter of what can you make. How can it be different? I think John Favreau should be trusted enough to do it. What was the question? But like if this is reliant About on nostalgia, nostalgia? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And then you yeah. answered it. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Roxy. You proud of me for yeah, answering? Yeah. Yeah. Put yeah. that together. Yeah. All right, good. That was pretty. Pete's Dragon didn't do it for me. That was because I had a I very nostalgic, you know, feel. To, that was my favorite animated. And it's very different. Or, you know, live action. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah, the new Didn't one it was it too different? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was I, I would have liked a more nostalgic feel to that one. Did yeah. your kids like it? Um, yeah, Liddy got scared, of course. Right. right. <laughs> well, but that's, but but that's a good point because th I didn't have as much of a connection to the Peach Dragon. But if I did, I probably would have had yeah. a, a problem with it because it's very different from the original. Oh yeah. My daughter loved it because that's her version of uh, of that movie. So this is also the other thing you got to remember. The same way that we were talking about with Grinch. This might be, for a lot of kids, the first time they ever see Lion King. Mm -hmm. Whether you like that or not, this might be the first time they ever see it, and they're going to see the Lion King with real animals yeah. running around talking. And yeah, it, there's, there's a reason for it. Really? Look, Cinderella crushed. Didn't like uh, Maleficent, but it crushed. I liked it. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Beauty and the Beast, I loved a lot, which I think, again, Bibbs, I, I love you to too. death. But he posted all his movies, the the, the worst movies, that in, like the, I think the crappiest movies, and he, oh, they almost walked out on. That's the one? That movie? He walked out he said on he Beauty and the Beast? He didn't. He's never walked out of a movie. He said he never walked out. But the, but that particular movie, he He's almost walked almost out almost Sex in the City to it? Yeah. That one, I, that, I mean... <laughs> Man, it's brutal. Not good. It's um, not good. But it's anyway, not good. Uh, I, I understand why they're doing it, and it's a good question. All right, what's uh, what's next? Uh, we got a phone call. Let's do it. Nope. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hey, um, it's uh, Josh from uh, California, hey, Southern Josh. California. What's up, Josh? How Hi, you doing? Josh. Hey, hey guys. Um, avid listener, listening to you guys all the time. Um, I just wanted to talk about the uh, Venom box office that you guys were talking about. Sure. Mm. You got opinions on it? Yeah. Why you think it? Why you think it uh, did well? I, I do. Um, so I'm, I don't know, because I heard you guys talking bad about it and everybody talking bad about it. But, you know, I went to see it just because I had time. I wasn't going to see it, actually, because everyone crapped on it so much. But, you know, they said that it started off strong in like the first 10 minutes or something. So I'm sitting in the theater 
And then, you know, 40 minutes into the movie, I'm like, okay, the bad part's going to come now. And then the movie ends and the bad part never came for me and the people I went with. So I don't know. I think that I was like more with the fan vote of it was actually a, a good movie. Like, I didn't think it was bad or campy at all. I actually thought it was a good movie. Hey, I, I did not crap on this thing one time. Never have, never will. I really like the movie. And I agree the bad part never came for me. I, thought, I think the strongest part is the beginning. But then I just thought the whole movie was Fine. I liked it a lot. Look, man, when it comes to the audience, um, you are in the majority because a lot of the people who went to our buddy Matt Sarah, who the first time I ever heard him actually talking about this show in general was talking about Venom and how he really liked it. It 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 seemed like there was pretty much what he just said. Thought that there people that he listened to and, and likes and, and um, or appreciates their opinion on movies said, ah, oh, this movie stinks, so I'm not going to go see it. And then they go and see it, and they wind up liking it. It's just whether or not – I mean, he doesn't think it was campy. I think there was a lot of campiness to it personally. But I also think that there – I think it was just shot in a way that they used to shoot comic book movies in the mid-'90s. That's what it felt like to me. But some people like revisiting that. So, you know, it's uh, that that's what it is. And that, you, I think you're right, though, man. I think that there's a, people I think the audience responded to it. People like Tom Hardy. Did you like it better than you liked Wonder Woman? Honestly, yes. And I'm afraid of how much I liked it because everyone hates it so much. So I don't want to say that it's like in my favorite of the year, but I really enjoyed the movie. Like I saw no problems with it. With Wonder Woman, I did have a problem with kind of the ending. It was kind of cliche. Or things like that, but not with Venom, unfortunately. Yeah, well, there you go. Thanks for the co- phone call, man. And that's, I think that that sums up. I think that a lot of people felt the way that he did. Yeah. And I think a lot of people saw it and talked about it. The people who really liked it loved it. Everybody keeps clumping me in with you guys about it, though. Like, well, oh, I heard show. your whole show hates Venom. And I was like, I, I really liked it. Yeah, who else said that to you? Just people tweets? Just people, yeah, all the yeah. time tweets. Mm. You guys are all crapping on Venom. The people tweets. The, the people tweets. Did you like You didn't like it, or you saw it with me. Uh, you know, I don't thought about it. Now. And it's Come like, on. No, no, no. It, <laughs> right. I didn't like it when I walked out, but I don't hate it. Yeah. It's just, it really landed on me with just a, yeah. I will revisit it again. Yeah. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it again. You know what? I'm, I'm going to give the test Wine. to Wine. With wine? Yeah. No, I'm gonna give the test with my wife because when it comes to these types of movies, when she watches it and she and and she actually winds up enjoying these movies, then I'm like, ah, you know, it's like she likes the only movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe she didn't like were Guardians. She can't get through Guardians. Either of them? Really? No, she can't get through it. She just can't take talk. Oh, yeah, she. I love the first one, um, but she she just can't she can't do it. The other ones she loves. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna and she even she even liked uh, Doctor Strange. She loved. She no, not loved, but she liked it a lot. Hmm. Yeah. Um, but anyway, do we have another call, or you want to go to? Uh, you want to go we to? Do you have another call? All right, let's do that. Mm-hmm. Hey, you're on Collider Live. What do we got? Hey, what's up? This is Nico Rigoli from Pennsylvania. How you doing? What's up, Nico? How you doing, man? What do you got? I'm uh, doing good. Doing good. Um, so you obviously got my tweets last week, and so you kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. Um, but uh, you mind if I do some self promotion? I know where you're going to go with it, and because I know where you're going with it, uh, yes, let people know what you're doing. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So for those of you who don't know, I'm one of the members down in the fan leagues uh, where Chance Ellison sort of uh, made his descent from uh, into the heavens where he is now. Um, <laughs> and um, from the week of January 21st to January 27th, I'm doing a special week-long uh, thing through these fan leagues, through Full Metal, through Multiplex Entertainment, through Jukebox Trivia over at Take 3 Productions and through Combat Zone Wrestling Trivia over on Film Nerd TV. And I'm raising money for the Fort Diamonds uh, Pediatric Cancer Research Fund uh, via Penn State Fund. I am a Penn State student. Uh, Hell yeah, Penn you State. are. We are, buddy. We are. <laughs> nice. There uh, we go. Is that Makuga? That's <laughs> Makuga. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Makuga, dude. you're actually involved in this, so you should you should. Yeah, actually... man, I danced in 2003. And no, 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 no. You're involved in this whole thing. So listen to the listen to this whole pitch. No, I'm talking about Penn State. I know you are, but listen to this whole pitch. Yeah. So, so, so here, here's what here's what Christian is referencing. So last week, last week I sent a tweet out. Um, oh, actually, I sent a video out on my YouTube channel, and I was saying, "Hey, Christian, right now you don't have an undercard for the Schmodown Live. I'm going to be there." I bought a ticket. Can I face the Wildberries on the undercard in a special tr- uh, charity exhibition match? <laughs> then he announces yeah, it. Chance and Janine. Uh, but since, since it can't happen at the live show, I have another proposal. What do you got? Can the fan leagues borrow the Wildberries? 
uh, how what, what borrow us how? No, I mean they, not they, in they, a they, slave they, trade. Yeah. Or yeah. I mean, they basically basically meaning can you can you call into Skype to do a match? Because I don't thank you, Nico, for the call, and I and we'll we'll it's do from a, Pittsburgh too. Seven two four. What's up, bro? Yeah, yeah. So so What's so um, basically what it is is that we don't want like competitors in the league to play in the fan leagues right. because. If they let's, lose, they let's say like Roka him. goes in and he's he's the champion. He goes into a fan league and they give him some really ridiculous questions that, and not that they would do this, but let's say the other but guy, they might. but let's say someone else, <laughs> they give someone else their their competitor all the answers. Right. Now again, I don't think anyone would do this, but if they did, and it's then just not regulated like you right, regulate. and then Roka l- has egg on his face, loses, and they're like, I beat the Schmodown champion, and it's like, yeah, we can't do that. So by lending it out, they mean like, hey, can we take one of the Schmodown competitors and have him? In this How do you feel about charity? it? For a charity thing, and Makugu was up for it. I don't, you know, it's that's it's up to him, and it's it's a matter. Of, we don't want to get more information on it, but I think that that's one of those things that it's like it should it should be discussed, and it's up to, it's up to Josh really because that's the same thing. Josh gonna, likes charity. He does. Big, um, big charity guy, and it's for the Four Diamonds Fund, which I've raised millions of dollars for in the past. So, um, you'd, be, you, you'd, you'd be up for the conversation. Absolutely, man. Right, well, anything for the fans. All right, well, there you the, go. the wild berries aren't scared of anything, no. except for horror movies, snakes, spiders. I mean, the list goes on. <laughs> yeah. Why am I looking at a picture of Makuga with a mohawk? That's oh, from, that goes back from... Uh, uh, that goes back that's from real or Photoshopped? Wednesday. That's, that's Wednesday. Wednesday's conversation. Real or yeah, Photoshopped? Yeah. That's, oh, no, that's, that's completely that's, that's Photoshopped. Oh. No. Damn it, damn. It's 100% Photoshop. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, I didn't know. I, I know. It looks really good. Sorry, Riley. You're right. I should have stuck yeah. with it. You're oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. You're absolutely yeah. right. I, I, was, stuck I was ready. No, you're 100 You were still Gunner. sticking with the Michael B. Jordan thing. So. The Michael B. Jordan thing is 100%. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 a, fan, a fan sent it to me. It's it's the beginning of the Schmo's review. It's for real. Yeah. It's the beginning of the It's real. Whatever. All right, fine. Um, so let's take some more tweets here. Uh, I got one from C.W. Barcher because uh, of this Lion King, uh, Lion King stuff. What other? I know we're getting Aladdin. I know we're getting Dumbo. 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 What are the movies like the the smaller ones? He wants Rescuers. Yeah, well, so does Chris Kolisky. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you. Uh, for me, a movie that would be great because no one has seen this movie. No one has watched in the be, Disney library. Yep. Okay. The Black Cauldron. Oh, what a great I love that movie. movie. I've be, seen that movie. Yes. It would be a great but No one else has seen that movie. Nobody so you sees and I, that movie. We're the yeah. only two people that bought tickets for that thing. Yeah. Do you even know what that movie is? <laughs> no, I'm no. trying to think of it. Black Cauldron <laughs> is a great kind of fantasy movie that they yeah. could make, and I'm shocked that they haven't done it because the Can IP you pull is the picture, guys? Yeah, I'm sure it's going to come. Yeah, just bring up the Black Cauldron picture. Um, but yeah, it, it, that's, that's the one for me. You guys, Sword in the Stone? They were working on that, I think. Sword in the Stone is in development. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I do remember that. So there's Black Cauldron. There's Bolt. It's go, yeah, go like three over. What one. year was it? No, 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 sorry. Where you were, guys? Down, right, one, go oh, over, one more, one more, that one. Bring up that one. Yeah. See, yeah, see he's got a sword. <laughs> what year are we talking? I'm going to guess that this movie was 1986. That's what I'm going to guess. Can we bring up the year? Oh, I have the year right here. What is it? You were close. 90, uh, 85. 85. 85. All right, yeah. 85. Because I did, I saw this in the theater. I saw this movie in the theater. Um, I think that box office. Oh, I thought it said 213 million. Made 21. Didn't it didn't do very well. I don't think a lot of people remember the Black Cauldron. Oh, you know what we're yeah, gonna get? I don't get. remember. Huh? Yeah. You know what we're gonna get sooner or later? What? Bambi. Bambi probably will. Oh, Bambi sad as shit. Yeah. You know what I want? I don't think it was Disney, and I haven't seen it since I was a kid, but I loved it. Did you guys ever see Thumbelina? Uh-huh. I know it, but I don't. I don't remember. Oh seeing my god, it. Yeah. I loved we'll that movie. It's that possible. would be a great live yeah, action yeah. movie. What about Water Ship Down? Berries. <laughs> Big <laughs> fan of Thumbelina. <laughs> Love. Did you like Thumbelina? Thumbelina? Yeah, I liked that movie a lot. Who did it? Who did oh, Thumbelina? I don't think it was Disney though. No, no, no me neither. But no. who did it? I don't know. I was one I made like my cousins and I watched when we were kids. It was so good. Yeah. yeah. Um, As a fellow Robin Hood lover, Bakuga, would you uh, want to see live ish in that? Or no? Man, are you Fox? kidding me? Yeah. That would, I mean, it, it would be the greatest right. Disney live action remake of all of them, 100%. Yes. Does anybody else have any? Uh, Disney ones? Yeah, Disney ones, do you think? Fox and the Hound. Oh, by the way, real quick, when I see the Warner Brothers thing, Lady Fox Lady and the Hound, Hound they probably definitely do. Uh, Warner Brothers, now that I think about it, last week we talked about how Warner Brothers doesn't have a theme park. They actually do. I've been tweeted out oh. this oh. and emailed this. I think it's it's overseas somewhere, but oh. they actually have, they have their it's own. It's a Warner Brothers I've been, I've been told by a friend of mine. I've been told by, I've been getting tweets and all that stuff. Wow. Too. Uh, hey, Makuga, are you still in there? I am. Okay. So you you weren't here to defend yourself, so I'm going to give you a chance to defend oh, yourself. Oh, okay. Um, what do we got? Okay. So we, we went back. So mm-hmm. the, the Afterthoughts guys 
covered it. Out the fans covered it. They loved our discussion that oh, we had. Yeah, it was healthy on Wednesday. It was very healthy. <laughs> they said that we we had it. We had conversations like two brothers would in the middle of the living room, right, right over a meal was done, throwing it on the floor on one another. Correct. Um, so I asked Roxy. I asked mm-hmm. Roxy, um, and I and I said, you know, here here's the argument that we had. I said Makuga said that my Instagram game was off. Uh, it wasn't very good. I don't smile in pictures, so I don't do all that. Very dad type thing. And he all, and I said my big issue was the fact that I had that he said I had creepy photos from the red carpet. I posed it the same way that you did everything too. And I asked Roxy. I said, you know, because the same way you posted Darina, I posted Roxy, and I, I asked her if she thought that the 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 way that you posed it was creepy. And what do you think she said? Uh, I would imagine that Roxy probably didn't back me up on this one. She did not back you up. Yeah. But I she, backed you up in other ways. She did, okay. but not on that one. But then we also did said that we said, "Do you think that this particular picture is creepy?" To which she replied, "Yes." Can you bring up that picture, Cody? Yeah, yeah. One second. Because that picture, we asked if she thought it was creepy, and the answer was a resounding. Yes. Look what? at that sweatshirt, though, and look at those nails. Come yeah. on, dude. I, now, uh, I did first, say at least it wasn't insensitive to the because you didn't post you don't her, see her pic face. In her now, face. Now, yeah. now, now, the first thing, the first thing I that said, that sweatshirt. Why aren't you dead yet? I know. Listen, the first thing I said about wow. that picture was that it was a funny tweet. So <laughs> I'm not, I'm not taking that away from you. Kay. However, she, maybe she's hungover. Maybe she's had. Maybe she was depressed. You want to hear the funny like end of this story though? Yes. So she gets up. She was like sleeping the whole time. Yeah. She gets up and s- she goes to grab her bag, and her friend was like, "Do you need some help?" She goes, "Oh, now you ask for help!" <laughs> and yells on an airplane, dude. Nothing like the holidays and travel. But, but, but let, let me ask you a question though. Yeah. Taking this picture of this girl who's clearly having a bad week. Do you know what's so funny it's, is when I took it, I was like, "I'm going to post this, and people are going to say something about Christian's Instagram <laughs> on it," and I posted yeah, it knew. anyway. I knew it. You knew it's a little creepy. Yeah. Yep. All right. That's yeah. fine. At least you can, sorry. We're, yeah. we're on the same page. And I just love that through these arguments, uh, anytime I post a terrible joke, which is all the time, I get a yeah. Sean Maroney, which I appreciate. <laughs> and yeah. now no matter what I post, somebody's yep. going to say something about your oh, Instagram. Yeah. So whatever. Absolutely. It's all good. No, it's, all good. It's, it's, it's part of it. Yeah. I thought that the, the discussion was healthy. Well, oh, yeah. I'll also say is that for, in terms of guy Instagrams, Makuga does have one of my favorite Instagrams in the game. He's, oh, he's very good at I, it. I never took one shot at I his Instagram. I know you didn't. He's yeah. very yeah, good yeah, at no, it. No, no, no. His he's Instagram I didn't one. take a shot with. My only thing was, again, I happened, and I told him, my, I happened to agree with him. I don't think I have a good Instagram game. <laughs> I don't want to. My my issue my issue was the fact that he called pictures of celebrities on a carpet creepy. Yeah. Uh, the, the only one that sticks in my mind clearly is the Patrick Stewart one. And I said I gave that to you. Yeah, you did give it to me. <laughs> I want to see that the one. The Patrick Stewart one was like, Why I couldn't get it. Creepy? Get, well, it was because he was eating, it was at the award ceremony in general, and he wasn't taking pictures with anybody. So I just, that one I took a picture of, of just his shiny head. I said, like, it's Professor X. And he's like, that one's not great. I was like, no, it's not. Yeah. And whoever did that, way, it's um, real far down. Whoever did the, the the Photoshop of me with the neck tattoos and the mohawk, it's the best. Hell of a job. It's man. really, it's, it's, it's so good. It's really uh, good. What yeah. part of it do you? It's the face. <laughs> yeah, it's guys. Yeah. Is the bob? Is that your shirt? No, uh, that's a press conference from somebody. That's one of the best photoshops I've ever seen. Ever seen. Uh, it's yeah. it's so far down, guys. Like the beginning of the of the year. So yeah, don't. It was don't, a Critics Choice Awards. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's, it's fine. So good. Uh, we know it looks like you. It does. It was great. It was absolutely great. And I wish that I would have stuck with Riley and 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 it made you believe that it was real. Um, all right, let's, have let's gotten away with it. Yeah, let's get another Twitter question here. Uh, 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 Twitter uh, question uh, actually is: uh, Are we watching uh, Aaron Kane? Yeah. Uh, the Mars is landing right now. Uh, right. The Mars rover is landing on oh, wow. Mars right now. Wow! Like, and uh, the latest news is that there's seven minutes of terror, meaning as it's oh, going can we bring into. Up the footage? I think there's some footage out there. It's like kind of live. Put on CNN. It's like the the inside space or crap. Fox News, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Aliens and shit. Right. There it is. Scientists mm-hmm. are freaking out over the road. Okay, so there's nothing. There's no actual footage of it yet, huh? Huh? Yeah, because it's going from like twelve thousand miles per hour to zero okay. within a short amount wow. of time. Here's the seven minutes of terror they're talking yes, about. Yes, That's something the I know. Atmosphere Not any of these movies. You know. Can, How can I just add something it? on this yeah. real quick? Sure. So when uh, okay. I was lucky enough, the schmo sent me to the JPL in Pasadena to do the DVD release of Interstellar. Yes. And uh, I got to interview a bunch of the people that were working on the Mars rover, and I saw them I that, developing yeah. and testing the parachute to actually make them help the Mars rover land on wow. the planet. Wow. It was incredible. If you, anybody, you can go to the JPL, you just have to make a reservation. I recommend that to anybody that lives anywhere to go to, to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. It's so cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, which also just doesn't really relate to it, but it just reminds me that we are actually doing, I think it was confirmed that me, you, Makuga, and then somebody else is going to do that Wreck-It Ralph VR game. Oh, when? yeah. When? Soon. Yes. Uh, Can I come? 
Maybe. Maybe. Um, I think that Jack has hooked it's it up. up in the air. So, this is my favorite um, thing you do, yeah, Roxy. Jack's in Miami. I'm not right kidding. Now, so. um, what's, uh, yeah, so this is, this is the, the, how it's going to look. Or there's really nothing. Whoa. Oh, I see. I see. They're showing how it's going to actually look. So they're, they're sending the rover down. This is just the CGI version of it, right? That's so crazy. That's cool. All right, we'll learn more about it. Well, yeah. It was like the whole conversation we had, what, Well, two, is this two live weeks action ago. or is it animated? That, right. It's good, good call. <laughs> good call. Um, I want to see actual footage. That's all I want to see of it actually landing. Bring because that up. This is, again, I can't wait. Look how cool how quick our chat's going. That's our chat. Oh, that's 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 the, that's the Mars chat. Did that's you think that was our chat? <laughs> just now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Roxy, I love you so much. Because I saw Collider in the corner, but that's just what happens yeah, when you're just, on YouTube. Yeah. Well, that guy's not. That's not me. I'm not that gray. Yeah, it, didn't, um, it made no is sense. That Connie, I'm Tom? so tired. <laughs> Tom, it's a lander. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if that's how quick our chat was going? Though? It would be. Great. It does go that It might fast. be. Sometimes it does when we say stupid things. Yeah. Um, takes? Yeah. All right. Let's let's move on here. Let's get to uh, <laughs> let's get to another question. Uh, no phone so call. The, if you oh, like. we do. All right. Let's do that. It's hey, you chat. are in Clyde Live. Who do we got? Um, this is Tyler from Tennessee. Hey, Tyler from Tennessee. What's going on? What do you got for us today? Ask me anything. Well, uh, I was just kind of wanting to. Give you my thoughts on the Lion King uh, teaser. Sure. Um, well, in my opinion, like looking at it, I'm not like Lion King. You know, when I was younger, it was like a favorite from of mine. So, um, uh, <laughs> so I'm like freaking out right now. No, I was, like, it, you're killing it, like, man. You rock. Like I'm a big fan of the show, and I've been listening since. The Schmodown started back nice. in what 2014, 15, that's, whatever. That's correct. It's very proud. So of you. I'm like trying not to pass out right now because yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, they actually answered. No, you're good, brother. So um, let's, so let's let's say all right. So let's say we're just sitting at a bar, all of us, and we're just talking about it. What's your what's your issues with the uh, with the Lion King? See, what I'm worried about is just looking at the trailer. It looked like a lot of familiar shots of what I've seen in the original, and I'm just. I'm a little worried that it's just going to kind of be the same thing as the original animated movie. It's just CGI. Yeah, see, now, not... I know that from watching. Go ahead. I was say, I'm not worried about that. I'm just not worried about that because, again, I, you, that's what people don't realize, again, just kind of reiterate what we said before. That initial trailer is, is not to say, hey, we're going to do the same movie over again. It's just to say this is that iconic moment that you know will be in the movie because it's an iconic moment that should be in the movie. And it's also to let you know this is what this is going to look like. It's going to look like real animals are doing all this stuff. And we're going to add some new stuff for you. But you're going to see a lot of those moments. You're going to see a lot of the same story beats because that's what it is. I mean, that's what happens in Cinderella. That's what happens in, um, but not necessarily Pete's Dragon, but Beauty and the Beast. And I think that that will happen and there'll be new things, but that scene, they chose to lead with that scene to show you what it could look like, more so to say, oh, this is going to be a rehash of this of the animated movie. Thank you. Right. Paul. Now, like with Beauty and the Beast, which, you know, came out just, what, a year or two ago, like, that was something that I thought they did really well, where they actually added new stuff in right. and actually explained some things that were kind of left out in the first one plot hole wise so... I mean, I don't know, like, I didn't know if this is going to be one of those movies where, kind of like Jungle Book, where they kind of go away from the songs, and, like, growing up, like, I had the the Lion King soundtrack on, like, a cassette player, and I'd right. always listen to it when I was in the car and stuff, being a little kid, and just, so that that's something that's, like, near and dear to my heart, like, growing up, so I hope that they obviously do a good job with it. I don't want it to suck. So. Yeah, I understand, man. Thank you so much for the phone call. I appreciate it. And I think that his concern is, is valid. I, I get it. Do we know which, first of all, what a doll. Yeah. That, that was so sweet. Second of all, do we know which songs they are and which songs they are not using? No, but I know they're bringing back, I mean. And also, do we know if they're using the songs from the play? Yeah. I mean, the new songs that they created for Says the play? The morning report. Uh, right, 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 right. Um, he lives in you. Hey, yeah. that one. I can love that song. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. I think that it's... it's that would be smart. I think that what it if is, they though... they But what... They didn't with Beauty and the Beast. That's what bummed me out. Yeah. Is that new music, right? Yeah. And they didn't pull that great song that they wrote for the stage play of Beauty and the Beast where he's singing in the turret and they played some of the music but then they just didn't put it in. Mm -hmm. But, but the, here's why I'm okay with that. Because if they didn't think it fit inside of the story... 
Totally. Then, then it didn't I'd be work. okay with it too. I just think you'd be smart if they. Yeah, it'd be if, a smart move if, if they could make because it. Because you also love that song. Yeah. Um, if if it works, there are things that they're gonna have is, can you feel the love song? You know that's gonna be in there. Um, because we can. Just just uh, thank you, mm-hmm. and sure. just can't wait to be king. Probably be in there too. I mean, there be. I think there's gonna be quite a Couldn't lot. I heard that. that be prepared won't be in there. Hmm. Yeah. Where'd you hear that from? Yeah, that was a while ago that okay. they're when they were releasing what the songs were going to be. Be prepared is scary. Yeah, maybe that's is why. David Oyelowo. Is he is he score? I, I no, I think it's uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor. Oh, okay. David Oyelowo because he's done all the voice work in uh, yeah. in Rebels. That's what I thought he was doing. Yeah, right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, David Oyelowo is not in this one. That stinks. He yeah. should be. You love see. him. I love him. Me too. I think he's. Silly. I don't know who the cast of this one is. I saw. I remember looking, being like, "Wow, bomb cast," but I don't. Donald Glover, Chiwetel is Scar. Okay. Seth Rogen is Pumbaa. Okay. Uh, Eric Andre is Eddie Hi- Hyena. Mm-hmm. Uh, Billy Eichner is Timon. James Earl Jones, of, co- of course. Uh, Keegan Mike and Michael Key Can is. Get Billy Eichner on the show. You know what's yeah, funny right? about that, Billy Eichner? So before Billy Eichner blew up. Before um, Billy in the Street or during Billy in the Street? It was his first iteration of it, which was just a YouTube, YouTube show. show yeah. um, and when I was working on Warner Brothers, I reached out to him when Schmoes was in its early days, and he and I went back and forth together. He loved the Schmoes. He was going to come on. He was going to come on and be a, a guest reviewer. It just never worked out. Then he blew up, and I never heard from him ever again. But uh, and now he's Timon. And now he's Timon. Um, he's my favorite thing that I ever saw was the old school Billy in the Street before it became what it is today. And there was... Um, it was so funny. Oh, it was just... He, he was interviewing this this guy with this beret, this foreign guy. And he walks up to him and he goes... And he asks him some ridiculous question. The guy goes, fuck this. <laughs> that's three. <laughs> and, and yeah, that's not me, though. It's, 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 it's you. Both. You and said it. And Billy Eichner goes, that's very nice. It's very nice. And he walks away. <laughs> it, it made me cry laughing at work when I was, it was supposed to be working. And someone just looked over me. I was like, ah, it's worth it. Because it was so funny. Yeah. Oh. So he good. had no, he didn't care. He gives no Fs. He gives no Fs. Yeah. So uh, out of a report in February, uh, Elton John was saying they're using four of the songs. Only uh, four. Can You Feel the Love Tonight, okay. Kuna Matata, right. I Just Can't Wait to Be King, right. and Circle of Life. Yeah, those are the four, ah! that I, yeah, those are the four I would have guessed. Yeah. Those are the four I would have guessed. Um, all right, let's do another. Is it a musical? Would it be? I, th- I, th- I think you yeah. classify the Lion King as a musical, absolutely. We yeah. also think that you classify La La Land. I no, mean, La La uh, Stars Born. Stars after, after seeing the movie, I you do don't. not. Okay. Not a musical. I do not. So, uh, yeah. got a question here from Erica G. And uh, the fact that we're talking about Lion King. Did, did you see Disney's release schedule? There's a bunch of images on Twitter right now. Like, mm-hmm. what's coming oh, out? Right, all, right, 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 right. They like, gotta dominate. We got Captain Marvel, Dumbo, Avengers 4, Aladdin, yeah. Toy Story 4, The Lion King. Episode nine, Frozen two. Uh, what else do we have here? Frozen two Artemis next year? Fowl. Yeah. Wow. Frozen two is in two thousand nineteen. What's Artemis Fowl? Which one's that? That's uh, Kenneth Branagh is directing, and it's uh, based on a off of a here kids' book. Captain Marvel gonna crush. Uh, Dumbo will do very well. Penguins? Which one's Penguins? I just it's say the, the documentary. Okay, which is those two Disney always do nature. Okay. Avengers four could be the highest grossing movie of all time. Could be. That's gonna be the one. That everybody's going to try to beat. Could that be. that's going to be number one in my That opinion. movie alone would give them uh, an up year. I don't know um, about Frozen 2. This For is some reason, I don't know. 2019? No, I don't know if it's going to. I think, yeah, yeah people oh. are going to go see it. But you don't think it's going to be I just don't know. With something like that that was so good. And oh, you don't kid, think it's going to be that great? No, I don't think it's. Yeah, yeah, I, could, yeah. I don't think it could be as good or, if, not. or not even that great because no. it was just so. What? I still haven't this, seen it. Listen to this year once again. Captain Marvel, Dumbo, Penguins, The Avengers 4, Aladdin, Toy Story 4, The Lion King, Artemis Fowl, Frozen 2, and Episode 9. I mean... That's March through December. Get out of the way. That is a freight train of chaos. <laughs> You know what that I mean? is. Which I, of those we need, I, is it your answer? Episode nine. Which no, of those are you least I, I, I most think, excited for? I, for? What am I most excited yeah. for? I hate to say it. Uh, Avengers four is first, and episode nine is second. That's mine too. Mm-hmm. Um, Avengers four is probably my first. Then I would say episode nine. I also think that's what it's going to be as far as box office as well. I think Avengers four will do better than episode nine. I think so too. Um, I think at next after that, I would probably go Lion King. Then I would go Captain Marvel. Then Toy Story four. Oh, Aladdin, low in your. Then Aladdin. I, I got to see a little bit more of Aladdin before I get excited for it. Um, not that I don't think it should be made. I just I need to see the genie. What's the genie gonna look like? How's he gonna? How are the jokes gonna be? Because that's that's a tough one. Yeah. For me, because Robin Williams is like my my all time. So yeah, like, me too. Um, th- but that's that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at. How about you? What are you anticipated? 
Uh, Can we just give me I top five anticipated? I think list. it goes Avengers 4, Star Wars, Aladdin, okay. Captain Marvel, Lion King. Riley? I'd go uh, Avengers 4, Star Wars, uh, Lion King, and then Captain Marvel. <laughs> I'm throwing Dumbo in there. Okay. I love that trailer. I, love Dumbo. I, I want a I want a camera somehow on Ellis because <laughs> Ellis cries during Dumbo all the time. Really? Yeah. yeah. The what, original. What is one. all the time? When he watches it, whenever he watches. When you hear every that single song. time. Yeah. He when sees the, Redskin, the word yeah. Dumbo. When the Redskins lose a game, he watches Dumbo. Um, what about you? Toy Red, Story you know? Four. That's number one. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's so yeah, with my yeah. son. Yeah. What do you got number two? Um, Avengers Four. Okay. Uh, Star Wars Episode Nine. Um. And uh, yeah, nothing. Not Lion King. Oh care. yeah, Lion, Lion King. King. Yeah. All right. And but that, I haven't seen it. the other. I haven't seen Spider Man: Homecoming. I have a. Oh wait, where's that's not out there. No Sp- second Spider Man. Well, they're, Spider-Man? They're, they're, yeah, Spider Man's not. That's a Sony. It's not on that list. But, yeah, it's not on that list. That's oh, a Sony keep, release. All oh, right. So, okay, so it doesn't really. But count. we can classify. It's you Marvel, could. It's a Marvel movie. Yeah, yeah I, would, I would. I would class. I mean, because they're going to see some money from it. They sure will. So and I, a lot. Yeah, I. I, I would put. See, I would put Spider Man there too. I love the first Homecoming. I loved it. I don't know if I can because of Ellis's issue. I don't know if I can watch Dumbo. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if that's gonna. They really get you by the heartstring. And they do. In that first oh. trailer, and yeah, they're playing yeah. that music. July 5th. Damn. Bring up, the, uh, bring up the summer release dates for 2019. Oh, boy. I want to see what's going to kick ass in. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. I yeah. will die if Toy Story 4 is not. Let's start. Good. Let's do this. Is, that will just so. Why kill aren't me. you dead All yet? Right, so, that will kill uh, me. Avengers takes the entire month, or maybe the entire summer, and opens up on May 3rd. Pokemon comes out. Don't worry, Cody. I'll mention it. Uh, Pokemon <laughs> comes out. John Wick 3. I'm just kind of going over the ones that stick out as ones that people are going to really be talking about right now. Yeah. Aladdin comes out on May 24th. Then you got Godzilla uh, on May 31st. That'll do well. Dark Phoenix, I think, is going to be a colossal disappointment, but we'll see. I, I, I understand why they're making it, but I'm not looking forward to Secret Life of Pets 2. I hated the first one. Yeah. Uh, Mission, Mission Impossible, no. Uh, Men in Black. Men in Black. The remake. Coming out. I don't know about that one. Toy, Sh- Toy Story 4 comes out in June. A new remake of Child's Play comes out. Yeah. Keep going down, boys. What uh, about Flarsky? Keep going down. Then we have... Uh, no, keep going. What is it? Ford versus Ferrari. It looks good. What is that? Uh, I believe Mangold? that's uh, Michael James Mann, Mann, and it's going to be... you know the, no, the James Mangold. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The, the man has another one that's yeah. that he's working on. All right, well, that's fine. And, and July, the July is going to start. That's where Spider Man comes out. Lion King, man, what a, what a battle. They're like battling, fighting Hollywood each other. Again, this, Disney's going to be fighting each other. Um, keep going. What the hell's Hobbits? Oh, Hobbs and Shaw. I saw Hobbit. Uh, the New Mutants, that's not coming out, is it? They'll probably push that again. Artemis Fowl, Angry Birds 2. I mean, it's a pretty stacked summer next year. Keep going. It oh, Chapter 2. Yeah. Oh, It Chapter 2. I'm, very, I'm looking forward to that one. That's going to Yeah. It's yeah. gonna be great. Um, and then, uh, what, oh, that's, that's all. Uh, so August is it chapter two? Oh, that's gonna. Is that when it came out? No, it came out in like October last time, right? Yeah. Why is it coming back out in now? August? No, it's it September. Out September. September sixth. Okay. Okay. What about that door of the Explorer? Where is that? <laughs> yeah, oh, it's it'll do there. well. I mean, you think so? I mean, I'm excited. Could be, but that's you know that's that's kind of it. <laughs> what Let's I am, do. it's the it's the girl that um. From Instant Family and Sicario. Yeah. Oh, is she the... She the yeah. She's good. Really good. What, that's her? That's her younger, I guess. It's pretty was she sure, in The Last Night? I'm pretty sure it's who, I was, uh, who I'm talking, is thinking her? of. Wait, go, is it not who I was just thinking of? Um, Instant Family and Sicario, yeah. Yeah, she just looked different. Uh, it's a car... You that's where what? you knew her from? That's where I knew her from. Yeah. I, I, normally, Ellis will sit there and really, like, wait a minute, that was Tom Cruise? But I, I, I am, I'm usually pretty good at remembering the faces. And the whole time, I couldn't. I said, like, I know her from like a real. From a, she's really good. She's really good. She was great. So I didn't love Sicario, too, but she yeah. was great in the movie. Yeah, she and was. And she was fantastic in Instant Family. Yeah, she was How really good. How old is Dora supposed to be? Um, I think they're aging her up a bit like 15, to be 13. 16. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, that's the, what I think they say. This girl looks young. Yeah, she looks younger. She, she plays like a... Uh, 14 year old. Yeah. How, how, wait, how many of them? Eighth. Wait, I don't, what grade is she in? What, what grade is she in? Eighth. What's that? The, the Eighth. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, all right. Eight. It's eight? I'd say probably it was eight. A lo- maybe a year older than that. Maybe. She's probably in like one grade what, higher. It might be one higher. Do, do you know what that is then if it's one grade higher? Nine. Uh, that's possible. <laughs> ninth. Uh, ninth is, is definitely something. Nine. Like nine. Okay. Nine. Understood. Sorry, Cobster. Yeah, I'm not Cobster. Uh, again. All right. No, I don't want to try it again. Uh, nine. Stop it. 
All right, let's get to <laughs> hashtag one more hashtag collider live. Yeah, I'm looking. Let's see. And then we can get. Well, well our chat's going as fast as the Mars one. We do so it's hard for him to keep up with it. What's that? Phone. We have a phone call. Oh, yeah. What's up? Lend with a phone call. Lend with a phone call. Hey, you are on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hey, and what's up, guys? What's up? Um, can you I'm turn? I'm Aaron. I'm from Peru. Hey, Aaron. I'm not actually calling you from Peru. I'm calling you from Miami. Just moved here. Awesome. Um, what's up? What do you got? Hey, I guys, I love you guys so much. I just wanted to ask you a question, sure. Christian. Yeah. Um, who chooses the members from this podcast, which are amazing, so well balanced? Um, the arguments are so interesting, you know. Yeah. Um, as far as I mean, I mean, it's it's been I've been lucky enough to work with some really good people over the over the years, and I've uh, had a chance to when. Mark Fernandez, who has been great to me on um, on Collider, asked me because we we had talked about doing a show like this, a morning radio type show, and I said he asked me what I needed in order to do the show, and I said, well, I want a lot of the crew from the Schmoes crew, and I said I need Roxy Stryer, and to which he said, let's make it happen, let's do it, and uh, and that's really how how it came to be. Brett, I always knew I wanted back on the show because of the fans really respond. I don't like him, but the fans responded to him pretty well it's on true. Uh, true. on Schmoes, and and um and so we just wanted to kind of take that same vibe to more of like the old school toad hop days on uh, Schmoes and, and just kind of create that vibe. So the question is, the answer is just, I just wanted to work with people that I knew that we had a good rapport with. That's great, man. Uh, I just want to say thank you. I've been living by myself and you guys are great company every, every day that I can hear you guys. So well, it's uh good to see you. Well, thank you. Thank you, brother. I appreciate thank it. You. Thank you for the phone call. Thank you for the kind words. And thank you. The audience out there for listening today is Collider Live. We will be back tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun as we shoot some more shit, more some stuff. We'll be on here. Makuga will be in stage, in stage, in studio. Eh. And maybe he and I will come to grips and just pick on somebody else instead of each other. When we get back, someone to turn off Roxy's mic for everyone. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Follow the whole damn crew. See you on Tuesday. <laughs>